Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, Justin, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you can just feel I, the enthusiasm. Uh, I have to get into the character of getting, like, cold shoulder right now, so... <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, so so yes, right. true. Mana, yes. Mana has got his cold shoulder, and we're starting with the B team. So. Mm. Sweet. And he's going to give you the cold shoulder for the next couple of days. <laughs> this is going to be fun. But he's a big soft. He's not going to just... He, he won't... Uh, he won't be like that forever. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Roberta's got a got oh, a lot he's to persistent. See. We'll see Roberta's about that. Gonna, Roberta's got to have to say a lot, and I've already got plans as to what I'm going to say. Uh, uh, all right, is the recording started? Yeah, it's already on. All We're right. Live. Crap, really? You didn't tell We're me. We're live. We're live. Yeah, I started the just red, the, a few minutes The red ago. light is on. The yeah. camera's on. The red <laughs> light is blinking. Oh, that was live. You're live? Oh, Don't fuck. worry. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing <laughs> weird <laughs> recorded <laughs> in. So okay, fine. wait. No, let, me zip up, uh, let me zip up my fly here. I don't <laughs> want the camera to get anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Last time, like I said, we're starting with the B team. So last time on Ashes of a Shardalon with the B team, at Castle Lovelace, the party was gearing up for their return to Colstead and to confront the outsiders. Mana tried to get a new instrument but failed, realizing that people needed it to seduce other people. <laughs> it was discovered that Black and White Circus is back, by the way. Yeah, those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep a good clown down. You return to Colstead. Uh, Roberta decided to stake out in the forest to both to keep her uh, wolfy side under control and to see whether or not something was happening in the forest. While she was doing that, Mana and Cadence infiltrated the refugee groups inside of Colstead. At least one refugee was more than he appeared to be. It was some kind of, you're not sure what it was, only that it was humanoid and that it was infiltrating the refugee groups. Mm -hmm. Concerned, Man and Cadence decided to infiltrate the outsider camp when the orcs attacked. They horribly butchered the outsiders and while leaving other refugees alone for some reason. While they were doing that, Cadence managed to infiltrate Father Lucius's tent and discovered a massive star chart of carved stone, an old grimoire, and a bronze metal or holy symbol, you couldn't tell which. As the attack reached its percent as the attack reached its peak, Lucius demonstrated the power of his faith by single-handedly wiping out the orcs, causing the party to panic and convincing them that they needed some serious help trying to take him on. Cadence spent the night reading the grimoire and discovered that it was made by one of the survivors of the legendary Vast Gate Disaster, mm -hmm. the disaster that connected the material plane to the Far Realm. The next day, the group returned to spy on the outsiders. Roberta met with Cadence and informed him that the beasts that slaughtered the hamlet had discovered where she was holed up. Cadence used the Grimoire to identify them as Far Realm monsters known as distractions, blind creatures that use ultrasonic waves to track, stun, and kill their prey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roberta also revealed that she had infiltrated the camp the previous night, intending to assassinate Lucius. However, she had discovered that something, she wasn't exactly sure what, <clears throat> but something had beaten her to the punch and was wearing the old man like a meat suit and using Lucius's body to lead the cult. When discussing what to do, Cadence and Manacle had an argument about how much family's ma how much Mana's family of, you know, trained fighters could actually help. Uh, Cadence went out to discuss things with Roberta, and Roberta knew someone that could help, but she said that it would not be good for anyone. Mm-hmm. So deciding that outside help was the best choice, Roberta went back to town, found Manacle, who had determined to stay in Colstead, and deciding that it would be better to take him along instead of leaving him to the tender mercies of the cult. Roberta drugged Manacle, hog-tied him, 
stuffed him in a body bag and carried him out of town. Sweet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like any good friend. Best decision <laughs> ever. Yes. Like any good friend. Like... <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been you showed up at the door with a tire iron and a body bag. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. yeah. I went for the less physical, mm -hmm. like, knock you out with the butt of my gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, Mana came to that night in front of an old tower where Roberta's friend lives. He's going to give the party three days' worth of cold shoulders while Roberta is hoping that her old friend still lives in this tower and that he's willing to help. All right. All right. So, the scene has been set. You are in front of this broken old tower. There's a couple of lights on inside indicating that it's not as abandoned as it would first appear. Although you have a hard time understanding how anyone would want to live in this place. It's centuries old. It's, it doesn't even look like it has a roof. Mm -hmm. so... All right. So, so Roberta is with the group. Uh, Manacle and Cadence are there. Man um, is tied up on the back of Robert's yeah. horse. He's still okay. turning his I'm back gonna, against I'm gonna, us. I'm going <laughs> to untie him. I'm not going to leave him in the bag. I'm going to untie him. Yeah. All right. Wait, no I've been in that for three days? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only been, it's been eight hours since you were knocked out. You know, okay. No, I was back. like, whoa. Three, three days? Up. So sweet. You're not yeah. Back. I was like, I feel like even me, I would be like, at some point, I just untie yeah. him. Like, untie. Yeah, but I, I will. I, okay, I get yeah. him out. I get him out. Get him out. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, I think it's more like he's turning his back against us now. So. I, yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I will. I will look at even though man is not looking at me. I will look at both of them and say, "Excuse me." So I just, I just thought I'd uh, tell you this now. My friend can be a bit all over the place. So if you find that his mood sporadically changes, do not be alarmed. This is normal for him. Just, you know, stay calm and just let, let me do the Let you talking. do the talking? Okay. Yes, I would. And uh, Cadence just points randomly around the area. So what do we do now? Just knock? Well... Well, that's that's the plan, and I'm gonna go towards the door. All right, it's a big, solid open door. It's got it's been reinforced with brass lining, uh, and it also has a large knocker on the front. The knocker does not carve to look like anything. It's very unassuming. I'm gonna look at the door, and the first thing we're bird is thinking right now is is this door rigged? <laughs> <laughs> like any Knowing good adventurers would think. Yes, can I make probably. an investigation check? <laughs> yeah, you can make an investigation check. All right, see, because I'm thinking that if I knock on the door, will it just explode? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Well, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the door, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? As you can tell, um, but that doesn't preclude, say, something being done on the inside of the door yeah. that you can't right. find. True. Right, good call, good call. Okay, so Robertus <laughs> is going to take the knocker and just go... Yeah. Kenny, it's me. Kenny. It's just silence for a moment. And then, like, a, you know how the speakeasies have, speakeasies have that slider on the door they can open up and they can just use their eyes to look out to see who's outside? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. <laughs> so the door <laughs> slides open. <laughs> so the slider opens up and you see a pair of very crazy looking eyes peering out at you. <laughs> it's like, it's just, Roberta, is that you? Yes, it's me, Kenny. Damn, that's tits you've gotten fast. Hang on, I'm opening up. <laughs> so you just the thing, and then you hear the sound oh of all these locks being disengaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh, oh, Roberta's man. just like, mm. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't changed in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can so you hear like thirty different locks being disengaged from behind. 
from from <laughs> from behind the, the door. And then you hear him just like start cursing for a moment. He says, "Okay, you might want to take a few steps back there, kid." I uh, okay, and I take a couple steps back because I know he's dead serious. <laughs> All right, he opens the door, and then there's this explosion. Wait, what? <laughs> not ex- you're not even sure what exploded. Just that it makes this horrible smelling smoke and it probably would have damaged you if you had stood near the door. Mm-hmm. And then this crazy looking fucker steps out. And, and he gave me an image. Let me find the Oh yeah, you can you gonna post the picture? I did send you it. Click the put the link. Yeah, oh, right sweet. in the scored. You're gonna have to pop it open. That's what he looks like. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. If you can <laughs> see it, yeah. He just yep. steps out. He's not coughing. He's it's just this. Ah, Roberta, it's been some time. How have you been? Uh, it's been a mixed bag. I guess you could call it that. I'm mm-hmm. uh, I'm here to talk to you about um, a proposition, if you would. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna look behind you at Sal and Manico. <laughs> he's gonna look back at you and back there behind them and say. Then he's gonna look at you again. He's gonna look at Mana. He's gonna say. You know, there are better ways to build a harem than that. <laughs> it's, uh... It's I know it's been... I know everything, everything's complicated. Everything. Come in, come in, come on, come on, come on. I look, I just look a little, almost a bit embarrassed, <laughs> but I think Roberta was expecting this to a certain extent yeah. and mm-hmm. kind of waves for the rest of the party to come in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mana's um, gonna say... I'll watch the card. It's... <laughs> All right, I will. I will look at Mana and just say, "Okay, I understand." Yep, I'm walking All right. in. All right, and Kenny is going to demonstrate a complete lack of dis- a complete disregard for Mana's feelings by casting telekinesis on the cards. <laughs> The card is on it. <laughs> the horse is going to do its drag right up to the door. This is <laughs> awesome. And it would have, it would come in if it wasn't for the fact that the card is simply too big to fit through the door. So he just does the next best thing by slamming it on the ground, and I need mana to make a dexterity save. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hey! Oh, nice! You're able to keep your footing on the cart, and you're not dumped unceremoniously into the house, into the house, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, he just looks at Kenny, looks at the chair. He's like, "Okay, fine. Have a chill, with this stupid bastard." <laughs> it's yeah, Roberta. Roberta's kind of like, "Oh God, how am I?" Like she was thinking, "Okay, I'm gonna have a talk with Banna," and it's like, "Oh, good. Kenny's really helping helping my case." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, man, let's gonna say something under his breath. Can you wanna, you wanna, you wanna try to, I'm gonna try to stealth it. Can, you wanna do a contest? Alright, sure, he's gonna sure. make a perception check. Yeah, no, yeah, like, yeah. anyone within the room can, like, do this, cause he's just yeah, saying he's under making, his breath. I know, Kenny's making a perception check. Yeah, yeah I, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm just oh! enjoying the view. <laughs> Roberta and Kenny both hear what Mana say. Ah, seems like Roberta and his friend have something in common, and, like, he just, like, Oh, swears an elvish under burn. his breath. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, that burn. hurts. <laughs> Kenny is going to say, hey, hey, hey. We do not have any things in common. But one thing, Roberta attracts men, not women. For one oh. thing. For another, yeah. I can actually use magic. Oh. And it's like Roberta. I don't know what Roberta does. I think she's, I swear, she uses some kind of alchemical concoction. Kenny, can we just go inside? Yes, we are inside. It's called the front hall, Roberta. Come on. Let's uh, come on. Let's have a, find a place. Come on, I'll take you to the sitting room. You can sit down and Yes, the sitting room. That talk. would be that would be lovely. And I'm going to <laughs> I love Kenny, he's the best. So not so evil, uh, huh? Hmm. He's just hard to put up with. <laughs> yeah, it's more. It's not that he's like an evil bastard. He's just yeah. I'm yeah, just laughing on the bad. side, just like chuckling to myself. That's all. <laughs> all right. So he's got, so he takes it to the sitting room, which just consists of a couple of wooden chairs and a wooden table. Mm-hmm. There's a bookshelf in one corner that has all of two books on it. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> That's it? Yeah. There's yeah. The, there's a, there's some candles in the room, but. 
providing light, but otherwise that's it. Uh, Kenny is going to say, okay, so before we start this, uh, quick question, you want to, you know, do the game again? Oh, you're like, oh, you're asking about the, oh, okay, okay. Roberta kind of nods yeah. and goes, you know, it has been five years, I wouldn't mind trying again. All right, he's going to clap his hands. Timothy, bring the sack. <laughs> and then you oh. see this hulking orc come lumbering out of the shadows. Ooh. First you think it's an orc, and then you realize that it's actually a Frankenstein's monster of an orc. Ooh. Like, he, he took different parts of orcs and then stitched them together to create something. You're not sure what. But the orc is holding an enormous flower, like, body bag in both of its hands, and when he sets it down, you can hear a chink, like it's full of coins. Huh. And then... All right, Roberta, you know the rules. One coin, one guess. All right, I take my coin. I just kind of flick it into the bag. Yep. All right, here it goes then. Kenny McCain. No. (laughs) John just, just, no. Yeah, she eyes and goes, well, I thought I'd give it a shot. Only a thousand more names to go. All right. Yeah, you're thinking way too small, kiddo. Anyway, what's up? And what's up? What do you need me for today? Well, Barry, pop a gasket finally. No, not quite. More importantly, we have a little problem. You see, we're dealing with this cult. They're called the the Outsiders, and we need a little bit of extra muscle and also a little bit of your special talents, if you will. Kenny's going to think for a moment, so then he's going to say, you need me to reanimate some orcs and then sick them on whoever these outsider guys are. Is that what you're saying? Because I have a whole bunch of orc bodies that are just piling up like cordwood. I got no idea what to do with them. Yeah, Roberta's going to think for a moment and go, yeah, that could work quite well. What we need is we need to take them out, but more importantly, we need to make sure that they are... Pr- that their monstrous intent, if you will, is revealed properly. And I also know that you have the ability to speak with some of the dead, so I would hope that we can gather some information about how this cult even started, or any information that we don't already have. I want this problem to be dealt with. As as uh, he's going to think for a moment, so... You know, these outsider guys are probably why the orcs are acting so strange recently. Hmm. How so? Well, you know, I like to kill orcs, right? In, in case, you know, Timothy wasn't an example, I like killing orcs. Like, I hmm. love killing them. Oh, don't worry, Tim. Uh, sorry, don't worry, Kenny. I know. I know. Like, no, no, like, like six months into my exile, I finished reading all two of my books and one of them was my own spell book but when I was rereading but then I accidentally knocked a candle over and almost burned the tower down when I put the fire out I discovered that inside of my other book inside my spell book that I got from my master my old mentor my old teacher there was invisible ink in there hmm. he had wrote, someone had written something in there it talked about. He thinks from it's a, what do I call this exactly? Like more like a great repository of knowledge. A place called the Amber Temple. So I decided to pack my bags and go over there and see if that had any more knowledge on how to kill orcs more properly. Well, I got there. It was a very nice lich there who helped me out. Took me to where these weird amber. <laughs> Coffergai are, and there are these weird things inside that I, God, gods only know what they wanted. Like, one guy wanted to put an eye on my navel, if you can believe that. <laughs> Roberta's, Roberta's gonna, you know what? I Roberta's gonna make an inside check. I know he's telling okay. the truth, but this is getting a little weird for her. <laughs> Damn it. This is Kenny being Kenny. He's probably making shit up. All right. Well, Roberta's a good listener, so she'll listen regardless. All right. <laughs> but in the deepest parts of the Ember Temple, he revealed a very ancient secret to me. 
one of those sarcophagi offered to make me a lich. A lich? And I accepted. Yeah, Roberta blinks her eyes for a moment and goes, Oh, well. Huh. <laughs> she this 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 moment of like, oh boy, Kenny as a lich is <laughs> uh, Oh can, boy. <laughs> I have no clue. So can Cadence try to make a I don't know, perception or arcana check to see if he's actually you know, turned himself into a lich? You can if you wish. Okay. Uh, arcana check. I'm gonna try. It's like wait what? <laughs> 15? 15. Um, you can't tell if he's a lich. He's either making this crap up or he's hiding it very, very well. Okay. Uh. So, so I, spent, I spent a year building a phylactery, sacrificed the soul of an orc chief to the phylactery, drank the poison vial, died, and then came back as a lich. All right. I actually spoke with the lich guy at the Amber Temple and asked him how being a lich works, and he said, oh, you have to feed your soul to your phylactery every couple of months, otherwise you wither away. And I asked him if a kind of soul depends, if, if there's a certain kind of soul that needs to be fed. And he said, now nah, you can feed any kind of soul you want. So I've been feeding my phylactery the souls of the strongest orcs I could find. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the look on Grunch's face when he realizes I've been eating the souls of his best soldiers? <laughs> can you imagine the look on that fat bastard's face? Roberta kind of smiles a little bit. The best part is, it means I'm practically immune to their weaponry. Really? Really. That's Non-magical cool. weapons cannot hurt me. Like, at all. And those and those bastards only have those primitive stone axes. I'd like to see them try to hurt me. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I've already tried. And they failed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like you have certainly grown in power. That's quite impressive. I have. I have. So seriously, who is this guy you want me to kill? Um, I think, well, I'm trying, I'm a little rusty. I think it's Father Lucius, I believe. Yeah, Father Lucius. Yes. Yes. We need you to kill a man named Father Lucius. However, what we need specifically is to make sure that he reveals his monstrous intent. Once that is done and we have revealed that this cult is full of monsters, then you can have all the bodies you want. He's going to think for a moment and say... Are they orc bodies? Roberta's going to think for a moment. No, but there is a good stash of orc bodies that was recently created. Oh. Really? (laughs) Yes. You're going to have to show me where. Do we have a deal then? You'll come and help us with this little problem and... uh... You'll of course, of course, of course. Yes, give me a few minutes to get my affairs in order here. Uh, Timothy, fetch me my broom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's got a broom. Oh, sweet. <laughs> he is certainly, uh... He has certainly changed. Well, it's... it's, it's Roberta's thinking for a moment. Some things have changed, but some things have just stayed the same. <laughs> The more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah, Roberta's uh, just thinking yeah. for a moment. And I, he also, Roberta did notice uh, Cadence with the handle on his, uh, mm-hmm. his hand on his weapons. Yeah. Like, did, did he leave to go, right. did he leave to go grab his broom? Or we, is it just me and, uh... No, Timothy trundled off and came back with the broom. Ah, okay, um, all right. What, uh, let me double check something very quickly here. Um, sorry, one more, one second. Okay, so what uh, Kenny is going to do, he's going to take the broom and he's going to go into a dark corner and he's going to start swatting mana with it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> because he saw mana sneak in into the room under your passive perception. Oh! <laughs> under your nose. He's not going to run. I heard the whole thing. He's going to start swatting. He's like, no, no, you didn't want to come in. You don't get to come in later. You don't get to just sneak into my home. <laughs> get out. Go, go, shoot. Back to the cart with you. I just go straight to the cart. Oh, yeah, good. Now stay in that cart. Do not come in until I invite you. Can, Kenny, can you at least attempt to be nice to my comrades? 
I am slightly. being nice. If I were being mean, I'd probably do something like use Mage Hand to give him a wedgie. Oh, right. that's, uh, that's that would be that, that would be, be uh, hilarious. <laughs> Just say <laughs> <Jane, Jane's like, laughs> that yeah, would be that'd hilarious. Be Just that'd say. be funny. He looks at Kater, he cracks his legs like, okay, let's make it happen. And he's gonna grab <laughs> hand behind Cadence. <laughs> Oh, on Cadence? Oh, yes. boy. Uh, yes. I'm going to dodge that. Okay, make a dexterity check versus his arcana check. All right. Oh, boy. Well, so acrobatics. Oh, acrobatics. Dodge. Sweet. Yeah. Nope. He makes it happen. Yep. <laughs> it's still pretty funny, though. Yeah. Ha! Joke's Roberta's. on you. I don't wear underwears. What am, I, what am I grabbing? That's my ew, ew. I might be a lich, but I have standards. Come on, that's disgusting. Uh, Joke's on you, no. man. It just grabbed onto something that's just a long, yes, worm-like thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, it's Caden's familiar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, he's familiar. I'm sure he's very familiar with it. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, you should hey, see hey, me hey, with I the said, ladies. Seriously. I need to, <laughs> it's gonna, it's like, yeah, I'm already seeing you with the lady. Looks like she's not interested with you. <laughs> your lady? <laughs> of course not. You use your right she's hand right. or your left. <sighs> no, just kidding. The bird yeah. is like kind of like creasing her 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 like her her uh, her nose, and it's just like, okay, so. Let us uh, be on our way now that we have everything in order. Right. Yes, yes, I'll go get my horse. I'll get my horse and get my spellbook and we'll, we'll get this on. Okay. And uh, I'll just... Uh, it, it's, now is Kenny left the room. <laughs> yes, Kenny has left the room. Okay. You Don't... can hear him screaming at something outside like, Hey, wake up! It's been two and a half days! Get your life in order, you lazy little shit! <laughs> yeah, Roberta's just like I do apologize about his behavior. Kenny was always a bit weird. Don't worry. That's how virgins act. I won't blame him. It's totally fine. Please. Yeah, Roberta's like <laughs> Roberta's like please please do not just do not tell him you said that because I will know he, you he, it will just be a never ending bickering fight. <laughs> And I could really do without that. Uh, Trust me, you do not you do not know this man. He he will he will bicker and complain for hours upon hours. And if we're traveling with this guy for the next couple days or so, <laughs> mm, I do not want to have to deal with that. Just out of curiosity, how did you even meet this guy? <sighs> if you're well, willing to share. If not, uh, Roberta. Fine. Well, this this is more. Well, Roberta's more willing to share this part than some other parts. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it should come to no surprise that I was part of uh, a militia um, mm -hmm. back in the day, and uh, at the time, uh, he was a lieutenant. Wait, um, seriously? Yeah, he was. This guy? Well, you have to under you have to understand. Yes, he was off, but he was a vital ass. He was a vital um, tool to the militia. You see, he had the ability to talk and speak with the dead, so he could gather useful information, and we would use that information to, you know, coordinate proper attacks on orcs and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, let us just say, long story short, um, his uh, necromancy um, tendencies uh, were revealed, and um, let's just say that's not really good for public uh public opinion if you will okay got it so um he got discharged i i would not bring that up with him i know it's always been a touchy subject and he is not happy with um the militia that kind of in his in his words uh betrayed him mm -hmm. so um but that's the long and short of it um okay i think he just liked hanging out with me because i tolerate I him would, well, I tolerated him, and to be quite honest, back in those days, I did not have such a colorful personality. 
<laughs> Which is like, you're probably thinking, what? <laughs> Eyebrows widened at this point. You but... may be surprised to know that I was much worse back in those days. And uh, he actually wanted to be my friend. So I appreciate that to this day. Understand. Well, at least and he's also, got some redeeming qualities. He does. And uh, <sighs> hopefully I can uh, find a way to... Uh, find a way to convince other people that um, I did not mean them any harm. But let's uh, let's get our stuff ready. We've got a long way back. And we do mean to do some harm. <laughs> so we need this guy. Which is good. We do. Yeah. We do. Alright. You can hear a sound of horses, not a horse, but horses moving around um, moving around to the front of the property. Mm -hmm. And when you step out and take a look, you notice that uh, Kenny is riding a horse. He's got three undead-looking, undead zombie-like creatures riding horses. And all their <laughs> horses look like all their horses are zombified, by the way. Ah, nice. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because like now he's not even trying to hide it because mm. who cares? <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's at this point he's strong enough that like. It doesn't really matter. He's a fucking lich. He can do whatever yeah, he wants. Exactly. He, yeah. Death is an abstraction for him at this point, so he's not going to die anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So he's going to say, oh, by the way, uh, before we get get the show on the road, I'd like to introduce you to Larry Mo Curly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so tempting. I want to poke them in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, my name is. I said your name is Curly, and you're going to like it. <laughs> you work for me now. Uh, sure. I, it's funny because Roberta just kind of thinks for a moment. I really am lucky. He calls me by my actual name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really lucky that I didn't tell him my name. So I'm just yeah, with that. You, and I, Roberta, <laughs> under her yep. breath, is like, "You should keep it that way." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Larry, quote unquote, is going to is going to lean down to Kate and say, "Yeah, it's probably not going to stop him." <laughs> I just shrug. It's fine. All right, and I hop on the horse or the cart or whatever, and I get ready. Yeah, hitch yep. up, hitch everything up, and back to town you go. It's going to take another eight hours of writing during which Kenny is mercifully silent as he's reading his spell book and he's preparing what he needs to go to war. Okay. okay. Do Does Roberta feel like she has any like time in between travel where she can try and talk to Mana? <laughs> yeah, you have eight hours until you get back to Costa. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to need like, an extended rest. I like how you said try. I do appreciate the thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Roberta's going to try. Um, at some point, I guess, during the travel, and, well, it, it does do we know that we're going to actually be stopping and taking a rest at some oh, point? Right. Um, if you want to, at any point, you can call for a halt. I might think, I might, it might, it might be better for us to, at some point, take a rest, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, rest up, you know, so that we can tackle this, you know, with uh, fresh, you know, yeah. not, yeah. like, non-exhausted, um, so I guess at some, I guess Roberta's probably going to wait for later that night then All at right. some point when we set up camp. Yep. All right. Do we All need right. to, do I need to find a campsite? No, no, no. <laughs> you find one. You find one. Um, and Kenny and his uh, boys are, and his three stooges are going to, well, his three stooges are going to reveal they're actually whites. By oh, whites. Okay, cool. Yeah, actually, not what. Yeah, whites. Because the place they camp that they you picked to camp was actually a very old battleground. So they raised the ancient bodies of skeletons that are now forming a kind of perimeter around you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. We'll take that. That actually yeah. puts Roberta at ease a little bit. That so she doesn't have to kind of keep one eye open. <laughs> yeah. True. Like we got some guards. But that doesn't require sleeping. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. We should be uh, good. So, Roberta, you were trying to do something? I'm... Cadence is going to whisper to... Sorry, uh, Roberta is going to whisper to Cadence. I'm going to see if I can try and have a private talk with Mana, if that's all right with you. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're... Are you already, like, set up in the campsite? Yeah. 
Uh, then at, at some point, Mana will like just walk off like away from the group, but he tell like he tells them like uh, he won't be too far. He like are we near like a forest or anything? Oh uh, yeah, a small small group of trees. Yeah, he will walk like at least five minutes into the forest and like do something. Okay. Cool. Well, Roberta's gonna see that and try and follow him stealthily. <laughs> what is what is uh, Mana's passive perception? Eighteen. That is your DC, Roberta. That's for your Okay. Set. I can. I have proficiency. No, Yay! I'm not very good at being stealthy. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Uh, Rosebush. Oop. Prick a bush. Nettles. Oop. Steps on a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> Needles. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, I, I assume you see something before you get yeah, discovered. I, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, you can discover me. Yeah, like, while, while we, like, like, there's this small, probably the small clearing in the forest, and Mon is just standing, like, like, in the middle of it, and you see that he tries to reach over for his rapier off to his side, but then, like, mm -hmm. his hands really start to shake when he tries to grab his rapier. Like, he tries to force it, but then he's, like, and he... He doesn't try anymore. He like instantly puts his hand away, and then that's when he notices you. Oh! I guess then, I'll, come uh, out. Right I'll come out. I will. I will come out if you. If I. If it's been clear that I've been had, then I will just. Yeah. Come out, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Roberta's gonna look a little bit embarrassed. Uh, Roberta's gonna look a little bit embarrassed, and it's like, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to follow you. It's just I was worried. Okay. You see, Roberta's trying to find the words to to try and say. And it's like, look, Mana, I'm sorry. All right, I didn't want to kidnap you. I didn't want to do it the way that I did. <sighs> Let's just say I was just concerned. I know how dangerous these cults can be and I didn't want you to get hurt. I really didn't. And Mana like just crosses his arms and looks like somewhat annoyed and uh and says We are I oh, wait sorry say And you decided just to kidnap me and did hurt me though <sighs> Roberta sighs for a bit and she, she says I been doing the things that I do to protect people from harsh realities or corruption. I've been doing these things because I don't want people like you who have such a spark and so much life and happiness in them to lose that. It's not that I don't trust you and I know that I did harm you but the possibility of you getting corrupted or your mind being lost, I just couldn't accept that. I couldn't take that risk. You remind me a lot of somebody I care about, somebody else I'm also trying to protect. So that was why I did what I did. And I know that's unfair, and if I could take it back, I would take it back and try and find a different way. But it's just how things went. I just wanted to be honest with you. And then at this point, like, as you go on with your speech, you see that Mana, like, grits his teeth and, like, kind of grips his fists, like, more and more. And... And you see that he goes, like, he starts walking, like, towards the direction back to the camp. And, like, I, once you guys are, like, parallel to each other, there's, like, probably a tree, or tree like, right beside. And, like, he, like, he, like, he, like, punches the tree really hard. 
and says, and like says under his breath, okay, I guess it never changes, huh? And then like, he, before he walks away back to the camp, he says this, you don't need to protect me, and he walks away. I guess Roberta just learned a lot, actually. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> All right, I will. All right. Uh, I will just make my way back to the camp. All right, as you make your way back to the camp, you hear Kenny shout, "I don't care if I don't need to sleep. I'm going to pretend. I'm gonna try anyway. All right." Oh, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. 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 <laughs> And I will get in my tent, and I will try to sleep as well. <laughs> All right. All right, so is there anything anybody else wants to do? I'll go to sleep. I did All what right. I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know if I was very successful, but I did do something. <laughs> yep, there is that. I'm going to switch... The spell I prepare, just reading, just doing light reading. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Spell switch. Blur. All right. Cool. Done. All right. What did you switch to? Oh, uh, I just swap out haste to blur. That's all. Alrighty. Ooh, interesting. So. The next day, the sun rises, the birds are chirping, and it's time to go back to Costa and confront Lucius. I've just been cleaning my gun. I'm up early. Make sure uh, Jaeger. Have... What? Well, sorry, I can't. Sorry, I. I, <laughs> I, I realize. Yeah. I, I want a gun. gun really bad, but I'm okay <laughs> with a crossbow. So yeah, I. This is. It's called medieval stasis. Yeah. I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I. I. It was. It, it was a Freudian I want a slip. Gun. <laughs> what is a gun? I don't know, but I want it. Um. <laughs> so uh, I'm just. I'm just cleaning up my crossbow. I'm getting my gear ready to go. All and right. um. Yeah, by the way, funny fact: in Castle Ravenloft, if you had loot, if you had looted the treasury, you would have actually found a gun. Seriously. Seriously, there's a musket hidden in there. Oh, damn it! That was the last campaign. <laughs> damn this it, we have campaign. to go back. Nope, nope, we have to go back. <laughs> Fuck the outsiders. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> I, I, I will no, come up with. I will. Yeah. I will send Falcon a message and write some backstory bullshit <laughs> that makes me have to go to Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's that's awesome, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But that's what I'm doing in the morning. So. Mm -hmm. All right. You're polishing yoga. You're getting ready. Yeah. Kenny is. Kenny is watching as his minions get their undead legion ready to go. All right. We All just walk on our way, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we're making our way. Everyone's prepared. And yeah, they, yeah. Kenny's gonna force all of the all the skeletons to climb in it to like climb onto the cart. How much? How many can they raid? Oh wow, that's a lot. Um, that's thirty-six zombies. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, yep. three white. Yeah, wow. white can raise twelve zombies, so they have thirty-six of them under their control. Yep. Oh, okay. it's gonna be a very tight and smelly cart ride. Yeah, I prob well, I mean, Roberta's probably used to foul smells. Like Luckily, like that. Yeah. we are riding our own horses on the side, yeah. so yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gonna yeah. Hmm. <laughs> keep my distance. That's all. Yeah, Robert, yeah, well, Cadence is looking at that. Roberta's just very si like very quietly just kind of keeping an eye on Mana and just seeing how he's doing. And what is Mana doing? Giving the cold shoulder. As yeah, usual. That's correct. That's correct. As very usual. <laughs> that's okay, serious. so I'm going to be sticking these ice cubes into their shirts on their shoulders. This will 
I don't understand how yep. I feel. I don't do wait, yep. I feel like I have resistance to cold damage. I might be able to uh, <laughs> I might be able to resist some of this. Not all of it, mm -hmm. but some of it. <laughs> no, I don't. Damn it. <laughs> Taking the full damage. Um, no, but yeah, no thing. Roberta, Roberta's just like just getting ready, and she's just thinking about the assault that we're about to pull off. Yep. So, yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, gonna find uh, some good music here for the fight. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Um, all right. So as you re-enter, as you get closer to Colstead, uh, Kenny is actually going to order his whites and his and their zombies to hang back a bit. They're going to basically charge head in, headlong into into the fight as soon as Kenny decides that you need help. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so do we pretend to, you know, infiltrate or just fuck it? Let's, I don't, I mean, Roberta's, the yeah, Roberta's, been, here? Roberta's been like kind of thinking about that and she's just been thinking, all we need to do is get to law, get to father Lucius. Yeah. So. Pull off, pull off, pull off the mask. Let everybody see what he really is. The thing Can is we do that. Haven't we talked about that before? I mean, they seem to be. You, you recall what happened last time, right? They they seem to be thinking that everything that's happening right now it's normal. I I have a sneaking suspicion that if we take out some key members, we might be able to drop that illusion. What I that's my plan. Okay. Because you, because Roberta, Roberta's thinking about the first time. Like you remember, remember when we were in that big field, like mm -hmm. the altar. Yeah, How and it forget? was very clear. It was very clear that not like certain members of the cult were clearly doing something to enhance like the illusion of That's like the. That's what the I'm afraid of. I'm not so sure if it's illusion at all. I I I'm afraid that they their mind has already been twisted. So even if we. You know. Roberta, well, Roberta doesn't believe that because, like, from the from that from that from that encounter, what she inferred was is that those high-ranking members were doing something. Whether it was creating illusions or actually infiltrating their mind is up to debate. Regardless, we take those members out. We reveal yeah. Father Lucius's form. We can scare All off right. a lot of the cult before any more bloodshed happens. All right. So we find Father Lucius first, right? Yes. All right. Uh, we have we we have his location last time, right? Where he his. I believe well, so. Because you 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 and Mana you and Mana actually. Oh wait. Well, Robert, Roberta. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't there last session. I'm asking uh, the Roberta DM the actually. One. Roberta was on the outer, you know, rim trying to do perimeter yeah. checks and stuff, or to spy on us. I just don't want to be so, you know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so asking the DM, uh, me and Mana, we do remember where Father Lucius, you know, stays, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, it's not a big secret. They're not. This, the call isn't making any any real efforts to try to hide their comings or goings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just go there, I guess. Just in disguise first. So that we don't make a scene or get stopped by, you know, other Certainly. people. Yeah. Uh, if we can, if we can get in and, you know, without, if we can do that, absolutely. I don't have much ability to disguise myself, but I can definitely be stealthy. All right, let's do it. Okay, I guess that's the plan. That's okay. The plan. All right, so, uh, Kenny is going to just cast this guy's self on himself. Hmm. Smart. Ah, nice, nice. All right. Uh huh. Well, let me see what I can do. Can't do much. And, uh, yeah. Well, how far is it away? Is it as of away from the place we want to go? How far? Uh, you're currently 
Less than like five minutes. You can easily walk there. All right, cool. Just what's the what's the proficiency for disguise kit again? Uh oh. Uh, like what skill? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think if you're if you are not proficient with it, I don't think there's anything. But if you like are, what what skill? Uh, dexterity, I believe. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's a you. You good, have to be. Point. You have to be trained in the tool set in order to gain the proficiency. If you don't, then you don't have anything. Uh, I have uh, proficiency uh, in disguise kit, so I'm gonna help everyone make up. I guess. Oh, you could disguise Roberta. Oh God. Yeah, sure. Why not? That'd be funny. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for that. I'm gonna help everyone. So here goes. Alrighty. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Sweet. <laughs> nice. Tank. No, just kidding. Uh, so. Uh, wow! Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy moly! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? I don't know. This is. Oh great! We're gonna get natural ones for the rest of the session. Oh yeah, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Make the the, most of the universe has a way to that. balance it, so well, I'm that's sure cool. I'm down with that. I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna be useless in battle, so that's fine. It's totally okay, fine. Well, as mean, long as we're I'm gonna roll perfectly. Time. Okay, disguised. I rolled a nine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bug. <laughs> All right, so we are in perfect disguise. Like, yes. I'm talking about you know, like swapping face, you know, uh, face off that kind of. You know the movie face off that kind of disguise. So just or if Wait, am I gonna Impossible be my kind of disguise. am I gonna be Leah again? Like my alter mm. like yeah, yeah we're as well. totally yeah, gonna as well. be our okay yeah, yeah okay I'm Leah again yeah our identity. So yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right. Let's just go in. We are just going in. I'd like to, I'd like my my disguise to be like a very big cloak. You got it. Like yeah. like a like a like almost like a like a like a proper cult cloak. And obviously underneath that cloak is all my guns. My goddamn it, <laughs> my crossbows. <laughs> the obsession of guns. Yes. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm sorry. It's totally fine. fine. I know the next move you're gonna be a gunzerker. It's totally fine. <laughs> Just. <laughs> but anyway, using, yeah. it's, it's gonna be a cleric. Yeah. If you've ever seen the movie Equilibrium. Yes. 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 It's it's amazing. Be. Just do yeah. gun kata all along. All right. Well, yeah. I, I'm just. I just got my robe. I got my crossbows hidden. Like that's my plan. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. We walk right. towards our destination. You walk towards destiny with heads held high. Actually, um, heads held low. Just. Remember, we're still in the Yeah, because yeah, we were, were the, most of the cult is like kind of like love puts their heads yep. down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, you don't actually have to look very hard to find Lucius. He's talking with some other with uh, some townspeople, some people from Colstead. He mm -hmm. appears to be assuring them that oh, don't worry, everything will be okay. Yes, the orcs attacked a couple of days ago. It was nasty, but we'll be fine now. I was able to drive them off before, and I can do it again. Okay. And uh, as he's doing that, Kenny is going to sidle up to Roberta. He's going to say, hey, you know, I could probably just dispel him, like, right now, in front of everyone. Do it. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Do it. Absolutely. Roberta's like, yes, 100%. Just do it. All right. So he is going to step behind you guys so no one can really notice him casting his spell. Mm -hmm. He's going to wiggle his fingers, whisper some whisper some arcane syllables. And at first, it seems like nothing happened. My father Lucius just keeps talking. It doesn't look like anything's happening. But then Lucius, as he's talking, he just, he just only stops. And he gets this confused look on his face. And he starts making motions like he's going to be sick. Oh, sweet. The town's, yeah, the town person looks like, hey, are you okay there, father? You all right? Are everything all right? Are you, you look like you just you ate something bad. Yeah, I, I probably... <laughs> and then what happens is his mouth just distends unnaturally wide. 
Oh, like, nice. sweet. Growing, nice. and for lack of a better word, looks like some kind of corrupt flower plant is growing out of his mouth. Yep. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this his body just collapses into a pile of skin. You see this thing, this human-sized monster just pull its way out. Sweet. It looks... Mm-hmm. You're not sure what the hell this thing is. It looks like this knotted ball of rope, of like thick, greasy white rope, just like all tied up into this serpentine form. Mm-hmm. The little ends of, the, of these things are sticking, of the rope, I guess you would call it, are sticking off. And they're wriggling around like the sen- like a snake's tongue, sensing the air around it. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. end that you assume is its head that's splits open into this five-jawed lamprey-like mouth. And each jaw has a single milky white eye on it. And it's making like these little squealing sounds like... Oh, so he can't talk right now. Nice. That's even better. I know this looks bad, but I assure you there is a... (laughs) Wait, he can talk (laughs) shit. Yeah, uh, and that like the towns for they just stare in horror at this monster, and then they just turn, they just run away screaming. Oh, so they okay, yeah, nice. yeah, they they got the message. They got we the got message. Them. Cool, we got it. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, and at this this just point, I yeah, <laughs> oh, gonna yeah. pull out. Uh, should have. <laughs> Kenny is with us, right? Yeah, Kenny yeah. is with you. Uh, I'm gonna elbow Kenny and just like send out the 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 dead, whatever your army. Well, we don't need that Why? yet. Why do I need to send out my army? We got a power yet. on him, like right now. We don't we don't need the army I'm yet. The least, army not, is your pers- not your personal smurf. All right, I send out my army when I send out my army, not one of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. I understand. Oh, boy. By and the time. way, Roberta's already firing while that exchange is going on. All right, man. All right. Attack rolls, Roberta. Do it. All right. Fire one. The okay, weapons are uh, lit. Yeah, weapons that's up. a hit. Nice. Fire Let two. Me actually, pull up that. Let me pull up the stats here. Strong book. I got stuff taking my inspiration from so many different books because this is a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. I've got like 16 different PDFs that I've been using. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, all right, that is a 15. That second one actually just bounces off into the thing is rubbery hide. Oh. Yeah, and it, and it turns to look at you, Roberta. Whoops. Just turns its milky white eyes on you. Still just making those little disturbing little noises. Like... I just stare at it back. So, attack? I guess. Yeah, I think we're getting ready for attack. <laughs> yep. It sounds like the plan. Sounds like the point. All right, and it's going to raise its little tentacles and wave them around. Sweet. And as it does, it gets surrounded by this bell, by this peculiar-looking starlight that just shines out of the heavens in complete defiance of the fact that it's sunny outside. And then he fades and vanishes leaving only a little trace of sparkles and stardust behind. He casts invisibility on himself. Most likely. Unless you make an arcana, arcana check to figure that out. Yep. <laughs> you got this, man. You arcana! Got this. 17. Hmm. Plane shift, actually. Holy well, shit. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. <laughs> we are toast. Alright. Uh... He, so he's basically gone at this point. You have no idea where, who, where he went, but you did your job. You showed everyone that the cult was actually led by a monster. So we killed the rest of the cultists? Sweet. Well, well we the can look for... Are coming to kill you. Sweet. Yeah. Even better. We don't have to run. Nice. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, so. Roll initiative. Yeah, okay. let's roll initiative. Wait, but there's no cultists around us at this moment, right? Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Don't All you right, worry. Alright, Sweet. Alright. Uh, can I say I prepare my action? Wow. Wow. That is... Oh. Wow. Oh, poor, poor mana. Yeah. Shouldn't uh, be giving them the cold shoulder mana. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're just slowing you down. You oh, know what? Slow initiative down. also means I'm giving the cold shoulder to the initiative. <laughs> yeah. 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 So edgy. So much edge I can cut yeah. myself on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, what, since the cult is not here, I'm gonna say once they show up, I'm gonna cast well mirror image on myself. Or sorry, blur on myself. Once they show up. Alright. Oh, Kenny did even worse, because he's too busy arguing. Yep. <laughs> he's arguing into the air because I'm ignoring him. So sweet. Yeah, shut up. That's Adam, even you better. You're going to pay attention to me. I am a lynch and you will listen to me, boy. Uh, the Robert is leering the can we focus, Kenny? Yes, I am focusing on him because he's ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Nope. Ignore him. This guy. All right. <laughs> All right. I have to walk up again. Nothing I can hurt him. Um. All right. So I'm gonna pull up my cult dudes. <laughs> oh, no, they did. Not that bad. Cadence! Mm -hmm. You got four cult dudes getting ready to descend upon you. What do you do? Uh, uh, I said I prepared my action, so... All right. They show up, you I cast use... blur on myself. That's all. All right, you're blurred. Mm -hmm. All right, and... Nice. Uh, yeah, that's... I, I already used my action, so... Hold on, let me check. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna activate Blaze Song, so uh, you guys see me put my hands on the handle of my short swords, and I just slowly draw them using the you know the sharp noise to shut Kenny up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I. <laughs> shoot. Yeah. Nails and shark board. Nice, nice. Yeah, All right. Kenny's like. Yeah, it's gonna take a little more than that to shut me up. Yeah. <laughs> He's still talking. Sweet. Alright. Uh, that's all I do, I guess. I already used my action, so it's fine. Alright, so that's your turn? Yeah. Roberta. I used my you action. Got all right. just coming at you. Are they all coming from a specific direction? Or surrounded no, they're like they surrounded you. All right, I'm just gonna look at the, the four that are coming towards me. I'm gonna fire on one of them. The Sweet. Okay. 28. Sweet. 28 to hit. 15 Ooh, points of damage. Yeah. All right, it doesn't stop looking? him. You can see him stumble. So one of them- Fire mass. again. <laughs> okay, that's another hit. Nice. Okay, yeah, he's still not dead, but he you put both of them very close to his heart. He's bleeding all over the place, but he's still functioning at 100%. Because, you know, D&D okay. &D and hit points and all that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, no, Roberta's just standing her ground. She's just staying focused. That's her turn. Yeah, so... But, yeah, from what you can see, these are the guys in the white robes and the brass masks. Ooh. Oh, were these the fuckers that were, um... Yeah. That we saw from they that were. big ritual? All the work? Yeah, they, yeah okay. they're like the inner circle, if you will. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, they're coming to us. They're making uh, our job a whole lot easier. That's why I said. Okay. All right, well, that's Roberta's turn? Yep, that's my turn. All right, man, are you going to give the cold shoulder to the cultists? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cold. I definitely, yo. Um, cold shoulder, you cold, cold shoulder. Turn away. I don't look cold at shoulder. Them. All right, um... Where is there's like how many are coming? How many are currently surrounding us? Four. There's still four of them. Um, are they clumped together or you know they're just no, surrounding us? They're, they're coming at you from four different directions at once. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, um... Spells! Fireball. I'm gonna look... I'm gonna look to three of them and I'm gonna cast Bane. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Better. It's a dope spell. Dope. I'll cast it at second level so I can get for all four of them actually. Alright. Even though one of them is close to being killed. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Whatever. Get the D4 down. What did you save DC? Charisma, uh, 16. None of them make it. Nice. Nice. Alrighty. So, what do you do? So, that's it? Or do you have anything else you want to do, Matt? Uh. Yeah, that's it. Alright, cultists are up. So, the wounded one, and his, uh, and he's going to. Direct, he's gonna make a hand signal to one of his friends, and the two of them are going to barrel towards Roberta and just pile onto her. Alright. Alright, so the first one, what is your AC? It is 16. Alright, so the first one, the wounded one, in his injuries, he's able to actually hit you twice. Okay. With uh, the D4? Minus D1, D4? Minus D4. Minus one D4. Uh, so Hang on, so uh, you said your AC was 16? 16. Yeah, he's able to hit. Nah. Oh, okay, alright. Worth a shot. Alright. So, uh, so, the first hit is a normal hit, and the second hit's a crit. So, first hit deals 5 bludgeoning damage with his mace, the second one deals 10. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so. Second one. Tries to hit you. He misses with his first one, first with his first one, but then he gets you with the backswing. Deals another okay. five bludgeoning damage as he drives it into your stomach. Oh, you got it. Right. All right. The other two are going to charge towards mana. No, not mana. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yikes! I'm going to give him a cold shoulder. So, what's your AC, mana? It's Fourteen. Wait, what? All right. The first one hits you with his second hit, and you take five bludgeoning damage as he gets you on the shoulder with it. Okay. It's probably gonna this is all. Bruise. This is all with Bane, right? With the yeah, all with Bane. Yeah. No. Okay, gotcha. All right, the second one. Oh, I hit. have to roll concentration for that hit. Um. Okay. Constitution. Yeah. I uh, save. I saved it. Okay. All right, second one. is also gonna force a Constitution save as he comes up to you, and he brings his mace down hard. And you take another five bludgeoning damage. Alright. Another so back con. To... Checks. Nice. 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 Awesome. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we nice are doing nice great. Lots of, natural, lots of natural 20s tonight. Ah. Yeah, nice tonight, guys. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Three in next a row. Is... No beating that. <laughs> Alright, next is Kenny. Hmm. I'm with Kenny. I really wanted to kill him. Okay, that's what he's gonna do. Kenny is going to point at one of the ones currently attacking Roberta. He's going to cast Chain Lightning on him. Nice. Ooh, Ooh Chain nice. Lightning. Nice, that's even better. Same, whenever he makes an attack roll or a saving throw, so that means they have to make this. Mm hmm. With... Yeah, his DC is so obscenely high, it's, they're not gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So. And then, third one, all three fail. Wait, how many can he hit with that? Oh no, he has to do. He can actually hit four people with that, so the fourth one makes a save. He also fails. Um, so much damage does he do here? I, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be a fuckload of damage. <laughs> he literally turns all of them into, into x ray versions of themselves. Nice. Like, all just <laughs> nothing but skeletons and melted masks and maces all right. once the lightning fades. Hmm. 
Bruno's yeah, kind of just, impressed. I don't remember yeah, seeing him do that him before. Just, yeah, he just holds up his finger. He just blows like smoke from the tip of it, like you know, like a cowboy blowing smoke from yeah. the barrel of his gun. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> Roberta's just gonna look around, see if there's any more coming our way. Yep, there's another four more that are they're grouped up. This this one is grouped up. This oh, one's sweet. grouped up and they're coming and they're charging towards you. So that is Kenny's turn. And mm. uh Cadence, what do you do? Uh since they are charged together, I'm just gonna cast lightning bolt. Sweet. Hitting everyone. Okay. Uh wait, where's my what is attack? your safety see? Uh, oh, uh, 15. Uh, Wait, what? Um, Why isn't there any attack? That's fine, you just can just roll, roll it. Yeah, just, just roll 86. Yeah, it's easy. Just roll 86. They all failed. 86. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. The highest they rolled was a 10. 29. Yeah, it's okay. That's not bad. Not yep. bad. It's working. Alright, it's not as impressive as Kenny. Yeah. And that they're still alive. That's fine. But they're all badly weakened. Sweet. Uh, attack. I don't know. Eight. Six. So is that your turn, Cadence? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's all I can do. Roberta. I'm gonna all fire. Right. Closest fire one. one. 24. That's a hit. And you put your bolt like right through his head and send him stumbling. Actually, not even stumbling. Like you literally, the force of the bolt from Jaeger just knocks him off his feet, nice. sends him onto his back on the ground. So what's with the second? What do you do with this? You're gonna hit with the second one. Yep. Okay. That one's gonna miss. <laughs> Let me check. Actually, don't. That's a hit. Actually. Wow. Ooh, their wow. AC's 11. Wow. Yes. Yeah, wow, we're so low low AC. Alright, that's another one. Nice. Yeah. Another one. This one right through the guy's throat, and he's just starts pawing at him. As he goes down, he's cursing you as he dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, uh -huh. mana. Alright, as a part that doesn't really have damage spells, um. Uh. Fireball! Is, is, there still one, is there still one in front of me? Uh, no, the ones in front of you are dead. Then there's, there's two, two more left, that are right? About 30 feet away. Yeah, there's two more that are about 30 feet away from you that are coming towards you. Yeah. Kill them. Kill them all. Okay, wait, hold on. I'll just. No, okay, he's not gonna draw his sword. Um, I'm gonna cast. At one of them, I'll cast Dissonant Whispers. Sweet. Alrighty. Ooh, sweet. Sorry, I'm wasting yeah. a lot of spell slots. No, <laughs> that's fine. fine. We we got we got resources. Don't don't worry. All right. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna bother because even if he makes the save, he's still gonna kill him. Nice. Just want to no. make sure. Yeah. So he, you cast Dissonant Whispers, and the guy's like. You're right! I am worthless! I don't deserve to live! <laughs> and he just pulls out a knife and he just cuts his own throat on the spot. Nice. Oh god! Uh, that's morbid. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, Max, boy. that's right. looking at that there and he's like, he looks at it, he looks up at you right now and he says, Yeah, lucky for you, I've got a little more, I've got a little more self-esteem than that guy. <laughs> that just a little out? more! Yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry. Next up is the cultists, and he is going to rush towards you, just cursing you loudly. Me? Like just, yes, you, man. He's cursing. He's just he's sort of like, "Fuck you, you fucking fuck, fuck you, fucking fucking fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck." Okay. And he's gonna, he's gonna take two swings at you. And your AC is fourteen. Yeah. All right. He swings and he's able to hit you twice, once in the side and then once on the shoulder. And once in the once on the shoulder when you try to block it, you take a total of ten bludgeoning damage. Ooh, Ooh let's go. Alright, so that's his turn. Next is Kenny's turn. And Kenny is going to walk over and he's going to use his newfound litchy touch on it on the cultist. 
<laughs> so he is a lich. Now we yes, can see yeah. her. Nice. Yeah, now you can see him literally just... Let's see, he's gonna use his paralyzing touch. Uh, like before, it was up for debate, but now it's yeah. like, yeah, he. Yeah, you can see just him like grab the guy and pick him up <laughs> by the throat, like just unnatural lichy strength, lift him up, and then you see like this horrible, foul-smelling smoke or steam rising from the guy's neck, and then the body just drops away, leaving Kenny just holding the head. Okay. Not bad. Oh boy. Not bad. Come on. That was amazing. Did you not see that? Did you not? No appreciation. <laughs> no appreciation for the fire arts of spellcasting. <laughs> Roberta's like, like, is yeah. listening, kind of going, yes, Kenny, that was quite impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, you can hear the. As the last call, as the body hits the ground, you can hear from uh, Colstead, you can hear the the townspeople just get into an uproar as people just start talking about uh, you get it's apparently as the as the word spread that uh, Father Lucius is some kind of horrible monster. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's all we need. And Kenny's yep, Kenny's gonna say. So, uh, you want to just fall back and uh, let this all sort itself out? Or do you want to go, you want to kill the honest to goodness torches and pitchfork mob? You know, why don't we just let this uh, solve itself, I think, would be the best course of action. Awesome. Uh, in the meantime, would you mind showing me where you keep your work bodies around here? Yes, I will show you. I gotta give you my part of the bargain, I suppose. Mm hmm. Um, where would that be exactly? Because I'm trying to remember. I was not in there. Uh, yeah, in where, swamps. where is it? They did not dignify the creatures with a proper burial. Nice. Oh, okay. That makes so they're our, just in the swamp. That makes our life easier. <laughs> yeah. So he is... So Kenny's gonna go... So you take Kenny to where they... Where they uh, sank the orcs into the bog. And he mm -hmm. casts Dance Macabre on them. Yeah, I knew he had that. Causing them to, causing all the corpses to pull, corpses to swim up to the surface and pull themselves out. Roberta's just like, so I feel um, you must be happy with this uh, boon to your uh, forces. Yes, I am so very happy. As he pulls out a little flute from inside of his robe and he starts playing it. He actually plays very well, and when he play, as he plays it, the orc corpses start dan doing a little dance, doing a little <laughs> horrified -like dance, start dancing away, following Kenny as he leads them to uh, where you left his zombies in white. Dance. All right, I guess we could go our separate ways because I think we've completed the mission yeah. for the most part. Yeah, Kenny is just going to stop playing his pipe for a moment and say, "Yeah, no, let's just double check, make sure everything is okay." All right. Uh, good call, good call. All right. Bet you stay here. Call. Yes, yes, Kenny, I'm giving you a genuine compliment. <laughs> yes, I'm, going to re I'm going to write this down in my journal. The first time Roberta ever gave a compliment to anyone. You oh, say, I thought, you yeah, it's, I'm, looking, I, I'm, I'm looking at him and I'm like, I thought you only had two books. <laughs> I do have two books. I, keep, I make notes in my spell book. You too. I, I'd like you to remember this day. This is a red letter day. Roberta actually handed a compliment out to someone. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Oh, poor boy indeed. <laughs> Roberta's just like like making her way back because she does actually want to confirm that this was successful. All right. All right. Um, so you just return to the camp. See what um, happened. Return to the camp. The townspeople have come out there investigating. They see Father Lucius's body with its unnaturally ripped open face. You see the dead cultists with arrows, crossbow bolts, lightning marks everywhere. 
Wait, and then, just uh, one out thing. of curiosity, did Father Lucius came back? No. Oh, so no. They, they, they just the first group that saw his. No, they know, found the body. Like the monster that was inside of him plane shifted out, but it yeah, left yeah. the body behind. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Got it. So they yeah, they, cause, cause they just dangle saw... his, you know, skin around saying he's, Yeah, yeah, uh, just just over. the skins on the ground. Okay, essentially. Got it. Yeah. Skin, the clothes, the skin was wearing, and so forth. So the townspeople are looking at the bodies, they're examining it, they're poking them with sticks. They're giving Lucius's body a very wide berth, though, you notice, Roberta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they're not getting anywhere near that. I don't exactly blame them. <laughs> yeah. So the elder, an elder who is watching, who's looking at every, all of this, he observes it, takes it all, and says, "This means one thing, one terrifying thing." What? What's, what's it mean, elder? What's it mean? I'm gonna be late for dinner. Almost <laughs> 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 Amazing. Also, it means that this, whatever was, that means that uh, this outsider's cult is very evil and you probably need to burn everything, but dinner first, then burning. Uh, burning first. Roberta would probably say, would probably say, maybe I can, I can go and help burn what the, we can. Yeah. Well, lady who is terrifying beyond all reason. <laughs> I think you might want to actually try looting the camp first because you look like the adventurous sort. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Roberta's going to take that. Take that. We She's have gonna... nothing to get from this camp, so you just burn it or whatever. We're going to go eat, and then we're going to come out here. We're going to have a nice, family-friendly bonfire here. They are awfully chipperish. Like... Oh, no, it's just me. It's just me. Cause I'm old. Yeah, I think, I'm 89 I think, years old. I no longer give a shit. Oh, yeah, basically, I it. think that like Roberta, Roberta very clearly knows that the people at Colstead are a little weird. So yes. this seems relatively yeah, normal yeah, behavior. Yeah, Colstead people have they actually do have their pitchforks with they actually did bring their pitchforks with them <laughs> when they came out of the town to investigate what was going on the noise. So, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're like kind of like looking at you warily. They still don't trust adventurers, but yeah. they're looking we at don't... you very, very oh, warily. And uh, before you go off to dinner, what? What? Yeah, you guys delivered a child a few days ago. You're not having our baby. Uh, sadly, it seems like. It is, well, for lack of a better term, it is the same as what Father Lucius' inside is. So, uh, unless you want to get eaten, you might want to hand it over. Yeah. You hear this uh, horrible scream coming from somewhere inside the town. I knew it. And then yeah. it's just, you know what? It's all yours. It's all yours, knife ears. So I'm going to go fetch whatever that baby was that was born a few nights ago. Yep. Like yeah. Don't go get it. All right, we are gonna go for it. Weapons ready. We might not. Are right, you going? Weapons ready. Yeah. Oh. Um, the source of the stream is found inside of a small one-story house. Yeah. Mm. Like you can see the woman like huddling in a corner. The monster that she gave birth to is on the kitchen table with several butcher's knives stuck inside of it. Uh, is this oh, yeah. what the hell? No, it's dead. Oh, it is sweet. very clearly dead. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I probably either went nuts or turned on her, yeah. essentially. Or honestly, or maybe the illusion dropped. I believe yeah, it's, so. That's, when you hear her mm-hmm. babbling to everyone what happened, that's what happened. She was yeah, she was uh, cooking. The baby was sitting on the table happily, and she looked, saw it had turned into a monster, and then she just stabbed it to death on the spot. She didn't know yeah. what happened. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, uh, and uh, Rob- that's never Roberta's a baby pro- to begin with. So, Roberta, Roberta's probably oh, like. I give birth to that thing. I give birth to the. When I give birth to. Someone swapped your baby. No, 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 no! You listen to me. Someone swapped out your baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Make a deception check. This is gonna this work. Wow. We're we're deception check. Work. 
We're Wait, such a moral is, group. She's hysterical. No! We're, 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 no. I have he is no... just screaming yeah. in horror. Yeah. Because... There's, there's nothing Roberta can say yeah. to, to solve that problem, so yeah, Roberta's going to leave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mana's gonna try to calm, calm her down, like, Mana goes forward and, uh, like, tries to hold their hands, and they're like, it's okay, calm down, calm down. And, uh, she, smacks your, <laughs> she smacks your hand and says, I can't bust to that thing! The thing was inside me! Yeah, I would go crazy uh, myself at, if I get first. That just so it just just to clarify, is she going crazy because like her like baby like her actual baby's gone, or is it it was in inside? No, her? it was inside her. her. Remember, her she gave monster. birth to that same thing, and I was trying to comfort her by saying it's you know it's an illusion. Your baby is actually still alive and or shit, but yeah, yeah it didn't failed. work. Yeah, horribly. <laughs> it and, didn't um, work. Just. FYI, and, and I, I, and then I say like, it's okay. You're just because what happened to your baby doesn't mean that you will become a monster as well. You're fine. You're still no, human. It means, it means I fucked some monster. <laughs> oh shit! That's yeah. not what I really thought about, yeah. isn't it? Oh, that's what she's afraid of. That's all. Then the elder is gonna start smacking Mana with his cane. It's like, you fuck off! Can't you see the poor woman's in enough distress? Why do you gotta go make her angry, make her upset again? Mm-hmm. Isn't that enough that she's bawling her eyes out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kate is just Mano not just, on the side. Mana will just, Mano will just walk away and then like not, like feeling it's gonna. He's, 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 yeah, he's gonna make it worse. Yeah, he's gonna walk away. Good. Yeah, you heard me. Fuck off, all of you. I'm already out. We'll do. Yeah, we yeah. will do. I, I. The Roberta moment I fail my deception, I'm already out. <laughs> it's like, all like right. Roberta, Roberta. Roberta is so like done with Colstead. He, she's just like, I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, so that's that then. Yeah. Yeah, you guys so. reconvene where uh, where Kenny left his little zombie and white minions. Do we need to okay. reconvene with Kenny? I mean, <laughs> Roberta's like, Kenny if you don't want to talk with, so yes, yes, you yeah. do. No, I'm just saying, like, this, our business you, is uh, over. Rober Rober Roberta's probably gonna say, "Listen, I don't blame you for not wanting to talk with him. I can do the. I can just talk with him. You can grab your horses and make your way back if you want to." Yeah, we'll him. wait for you. Just outside of town. Fine. You finish it. Just reconvene with us as soon as possible. We'll do. Yep. I'm just All glad right. that this mission is over. And uh, Roberta, Roberta's gonna go reconvene with Kenny. <laughs> See how, he's, right. see how he's doing. Yeah. Good old oh. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny is berating his minions as always. As always. <laughs> it's just, ah, good, there you are. Oh, good, Roberta, there you are. You're here for your horse, I assume. Yeah. We're going to probably be making our way back now. Our mission is complete. Um, I'd like to thank you. You helped us. Yeah, out. no problem. No problem. There's also something that I have to ask, Kenny. All right. Um, if anybody comes looking for you, or sorry, if anybody comes looking f for you and asks if I'm still around, particularly from uh, the old militia, just say that I'm dead. I prefer to keep it that way. Ooh. Sounds good. I know you didn't like them anyway, so that should be pretty easy. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, I didn't like them anyway. This is a great way to get my revenge. Fuck them. <laughs> Well, not literally. I, not literally. I mean, I, 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 I got, I got. <laughs> yeah, Roberta's like still in perfect working order. I'm, I'm able to, but I don't want to. Like, just that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, but it's yeah. Roberta's like, oh, it's right, been five years. Go. I'm going home. I'm going okay. home. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. Take it. Roberta's just like. Home. Five years, it's is like, you know, a long time. I, I have I have my tolerance for for conversations with Kenny is not as what it used to be. <laughs> so Roberta packs up on her horse and she'll she'll rejoin with the group. Okay. 
And unless you have any other business you want to attend to, you are going. You are going to go right back to Castle Lake, uh, Castle Lovelace. Yeah, we are. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. done with this place. It's... All right, and you will get a couple weeks of downtime. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, sweet. About two weeks. Yeah, two weeks of downtime for the party. Okay, interesting. Hmm. What are you going to do during that downtime? No clue. <laughs> oh, oh I know. I, well, I Dario know. at first has a little bit of reward to give you. Yeah, true. Oh, sweet. Work. In the form of, uh, let me see, what's that appropriate reward for this? Uh, what would be an appropriate reward for this? Uh, well, first, um, uh, Roberta. Yes. Well, let's first start with this. He gave you. But the point, I forgot to add this onto your character sheet last time. Um, Dario gave you a poison, the poison that you used to knock mana out. It's called Essence of Ether. Ah, uh, it is on my character sheet. It's there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you have, it should say you have like two doses left or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. All right, okay. Basically, you make a DC 15 constitution save for your poison for eight hours, and while poisoned, you're unconscious. Ah, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so... It's going to be useful to do, sir. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you are going to get... Each of you is literally going to get a bag of gold. 500 gold apiece. Sweet. Sweet. All right, and you will have two weeks of downtime to spend it or use it or do whatever. Hmm. Um, I guess if anyone, I, I have an idea of what I want to do, but if anyone else has any ideas, um, you can go right. first. Well, you guys I, I need to, to think do. for I a bit. Actually, on, I need to actually handle my dodge for a moment. I'll be right back. Figure out what you're going to do with your money. Right. Okay, sweet. 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 Wait, how much gold did we get? Uh, 500, 500 each. Cool. I'm going to try to see if there's they're selling, selling any you know magical items, stuff like that. I, I know 500 gold is like not gonna buy anything. I mean, you could you could yeah. get something. You might be able to get something uncommon. Yeah. Like I think uncommon items. I guess a plus one uncommon would be, I don't know, maybe useful. I might do that, but I think I I know I know what Roberta's going to do. All right. Sweet. Um. Well, this. This two weeks is um is is going to be a combination of Roberta doing things and probably trying to to have another talk with Mana Manacle. Now that the mission's sure. over, we can talk. No, Roberta, if Roberta feels bad. She's got to do something. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> this is just whack. All right, I figured out what I want to do. It's okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, I think I I know I wanted what I want to do as well. Just besides the magic items, I want to see if there's any you know uh, shops that you know sell scrolls or you know spells that I can make an exchange or copy from. Yes. That's all. Second, uh, yes, you can get it for you can get a second level scroll for five hundred, or you can get a first level for two fifty. Okay. That's cool. it. That's actually really good. Yeah. There's mm. a couple different scrolls. Yeah. So I can um, study them and learn from them. That's all. Yeah. So, uh, what do you, so while he does that, what do you do, uh, mana? Mm, yeah. Um, mana do? Do for, first of all, like, I'm going to buy breastplate armor. Okay. Which is Ooh. 400 for what I see here. So. All right. So, um, wh- I assume that's gonna take a while because they have to like smith it first, like to my measurements. I assume, or is it yeah. like something off the shelf? It's not something off the shelf. But you don't yeah. have to. They take your measurements. They're gonna have to. Um, they're gonna have to build the armor specifically your uh, your measurements. So, what do you do in the meantime? Uh, for the two weeks, like, um, it's not an actual, like, downtime action or anything, but just for story, and I think what Mana would do is, um, 
he's gonna constantly train and like not train as a like using music or mat casting spells. He's gonna try to force himself to use the sword again. Ah, okay. ah got it. So I'm looking to. Uh... Alright, um... Okay, training. Actually, yeah, there is something called... There's training. Ooh. Okay, cool. I'll do that. So, since, uh... Yeah, outside of Castle Lovelace, outside of the main castle itself, there's a huge curtain wall that surrounds... It's, it surrounds a town that's basically populated by adventurers and with people who serve those adventurers. So you can easily find someone who can train you. Nice. nice. So it costs you twenty-five. It'll cost you about fifty gold, twenty-five per week to find someone to train you. Twenty. Twenty-five. Uh, 25? Yep. Yep. Per week. Okay, so you spend fifty gold then for two weeks. Okay. Right. Is my math correct? Yeah, your math correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Alrighty. Okay. Um, I guess it's my turn with some stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, uh, I would. This would be a funny thing where it's like, let's say, let's say, let's say, Mana is like doing doing your training, right? And yeah. you're doing your training stuff. And um, at some point, you probably would have seen uh, a woman with completely different styled purple hair, um, noble gown, uh, really cleaned up. Perfume, oh eyeshadow, um, oh in a in a maid's outfit, probably walking towards the palace, or the where the lovely the castle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the castle. So, what's uh, Roberta's downtime activity? Well, Roberta is gonna go see Garcia. Oh, all right. Tell us a little bit about Garcia. I know. All right. Okay. I, I'm I'm springing this on you, so uh... <laughs> players don't. I did a little I did a little research, so I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Garcia. Well, as far as far as well, I'll just say it. Like Garcia is uh, the son of uh, Ferdinand, um, which is uh, Dario's brother. And uh, he uh, Garcia is just like I oh, well, maybe uh, uh, I think he's. I forget how old he is specifically, but I think he's 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 a, he's a he's a maybe like preteen, like he he's he's on the younger side. Yeah. And um, and as far as Garcia knows, Roberta's just a maid. Mm. <laughs> so uh, Ro Roberta just kind of shows up and is just wants to go say hi and see him after all this darkness and ordeal and stuff like that. Sure. And this is sort of like a pick me up for her. So she yeah. just kind of like arrives. Yeah, Garcia is, he's uh, studying. He's, if he's going to inherit the estate, he needs to learn a lot about how, how to run things. Mm -hmm. uh, in particular, learn how to deal with the adventurers that the Lovelaces employ as mercenaries. Mm -hmm. I uh, knock on the door. It's Who is it? Oh, it's good Roberta. To see you. Hi, it's good to see you too. It's been, it's been some time. It has. And, uh, she, you know, Roberta just walks over and gives Garcia a very big hug. Yeah, he hugs you back. That's it. So, uh, so uh, what, what do you need? It's, it's you need something? I, I need to finish studying this. Oh, well, do you need any help? I'd be more than happy to, to uh, quiz you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, it, said, it says here that, uh, Adventurers work for have the profit motive. Mm -hmm. Like, what is a profit motive? Well, <laughs> as, the, <laughs> as the players like, uh <laughs> basically it means that they're motivated by profit. It is literally what it says on the box. Yeah, it's like exactly. They want, an adventurer, you need adventures are motivated by wealth or some kind of reward. You need to give them a reward in order to yeah. entice them to do something. Yeah, Roberta's just gonna say, "Well, some adventurers are, um, they're, in, they are interested in money. They're interested in gold. 
And that's why they go on adventures to essentially, you know, get a, gain a profit. Why would you can find the phone on an adventure? Mm hmm. You can. There are a lot of things you can find on an adventure. That's why some people spend so much money and, um, or train and spend their lives doing so. There's a lot of gold to be made. A lot of, not, not just gold, um, Garcia. There's fame, fortune, stuff like that. Magic items? I heard oh. stories about magic items that to be found like in like ancient places, like the ruins of Silverthorn. Do they exist? Oh, well, of course they do. All sorts of magic uh, items. I'm going to be an adventure. adventure one day, you know, just and if like for no other reason than to just like learn about this stuff, you know, to, like go out, actually maybe find something, learn what adventurers put up with. And then maybe I can, I guess, identify with them, I guess is the word. Like learn, know how they think, you know? Yeah, Roberta's thinking for a moment. I'm trying to think about how she would react to that. I think Roberta's got a little bit of mixed feelings about that. You know, mm. you know, Garcia, hmm? we're being an adventurer. It is a lot. Like there's there's fame, there's fortune, there's gold, there's all sorts of things like that. Sometimes it can be scary, though. There are some things out there that are quite terrifying. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I guess, I mean, I, that, that, that circus that, that Dario drove off, that wasn't a very, that, that seemed kind of scary. I, I did not like the clowns. Yes, I'm not. I, it, it, it's interesting because Roberta's obviously this this personality. If anyone were to see it, is so completely opposite to what how Roberta acts in general. Yeah. Um, and Roberta's just looking at you know sitting down with Garcia and just saying like, I've never been a fan of clowns either. Yeah, no, it's, you remember the circus and then oh, that, I, yeah, that you saw. Um, yeah, you remember when you were leaving to go back to Colstead for the last time. Um, you saw the, you saw the circus on there. They tried to entice you to have a look, but you refused. Um, Garcia tells you what happened. Apparently, the circus came to town, and a couple of wizards were suspicious. They thought, okay, this does not look like a normal circus. Let's use some divination, you know, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. So they did divinations. They got negative signs. A cleric who happened to be in town at the time confirmed with the gods that these guys are not good people. So they informed Dario, who in turn authorized them to plunder the circus and chase it out of town. And <laughs> they did that in a single night of fire wow. and blood and Damn adventuring. Dario. Yeah, Dario was just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not it's like I got cults on. I've got cults eating away at the border of my land. I have orc attacks. I do not need an angry. I'm I don't. I don't need an evil circus. Let's get this yeah. shit out of here. Yeah, get out of um, get out of my. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Roberta's just kind of like you know, um, just thinking about that. Well, Dario's a really good judge of character. You know, he he yeah. does see. He does a lot. He does a lot for the family. Yeah. He has done a lot for me. And you like, like Robert, Roberta's just kind of like a tussling, you know, Garcia's hair. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a good person. He, um, it's, yeah, just, you know, it's, it's just the world is so big. You gotta, you know, learn to understand all these different people. Like I've seen, I've seen them from the windows, you know, the adventurers, they've got so many different personalities, so many different kinds of them. Like all, some of them are short, some of them are very tall, but all of them are like just so different. You gotta like find a way to balance them. It's so different, so difficult. It's, I, I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but it's, it, it, cause it is, it does sound like it's hard, but it also sounds so interesting to get to meet all those new people. Well, maybe, maybe your destiny isn't to become an adventurer, but to follow Maybe in Dario's footsteps, to be a leader, Maybe. to lead these Maybe. adventurers. Just kind of tussling, tussling his hair. I'm just saying. Maybe. Yeah. You know, I'm really proud of you. 
<laughs> You've been doing so well. You really have. Well, thank you. Thank you, Roberta. And I guess I just spend the rest of the just just listening to him. Just, yeah, helping just him really out. Relaxing, helping him out. Maybe giving him a little quiz flashcards. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> But I, I would imagine that it's just a very nice exchange between the yeah. two of them. Yeah. Exactly. All right, uh, Manico. Yeah. You're there. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw to see if you overcome your aversion yes. to the sword. <laughs> Please, this is how I want it to be. Oh, yeah. wow. Ooh. You have overcome Sweet. your aversion to the sword. So the dragonborn who was teaching you, he just looks down, he's just like, Good. You have overcome your aversion to the sword, and now I trust you to use it wisely. You Fine or not, I will. Just remember, doesn't matter what they call it, I've seen all kinds of swords in my day. Swords with fancy names, swords with the epic names like Sword of Justice or Magic Sword of Magic. <laughs> or my Magic. personal favorite, Bob. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bob. But at the end what of the day, kind of all those swords... Those? Well, Bob is actually an acronym. It's Blade of Banishment. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> I stood for Blade of Banishment Bob. the system of being called Bob for some reason. But that's not my point. My point is this. All of these swords were made with one purpose only. To kill. That is what a sword does. It is meant to take a life. You should not take lives randomly or wantonly. Do you understand? Draw your sword only. Draw your sword only when necessary. Yeah, man understands and he nods again. Yeah. He's gonna say, and then the dragon was gonna say, all those famous swords that fought for good and all that stuff, all that wonderful stuff, they remember it as being swords of good because their wielders used them for good. All the swords that were evil remember it as evil are evil because their users used them for evil. What reputation, whatever reputation your sword gets, it's going to be because of what you use it for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find me some chicken. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes straight again. Yeah. What's the name of the dragonborn trainer? What, like, does he have a name? His uh, name is Arkan. Ar okay, I'm gonna remember that name. Maybe I can ask for help in uh later on down the road. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. Hmm? Uh, because I've been training or using my sword, I think it will make sense for Mana to cut his long hair. Okay. Ah, so you're gonna first thing you do with your sword, you're going to use it to cut your hair. Yeah, and like you um, know, like for a legend, for Legend of Korra, where yeah. like ah, essentially, yes. yeah, yes. yeah, just the the way the style of of his hair afterwards is just that chopped off kind of thing. Like yeah. it's mm -hmm. not like short like a guy's hair, but like short for a girl's hair. Like it's just by the nape mm -hmm. of the neck. Yeah. Yeah. That's so essentially Mon's hair now. You do it, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, yes, I have evolved. I have evolved. Arkin walks by and says, I hereby dubbed your new sword hair cutter. And then he just walks by. Yeah! Out. Yes! Hair cutter. hair cutter! Yes! I am, I 100% approve of this. <laughs> Does that All mean right. you're gonna multi class into a barber in the future? A just barber. like. A barber. <laughs> A yes. No, just kidding. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, oh god, the pun was there. So it was cold. just waiting yeah. to get snatched. Yeah. <laughs> All funny. right, mana. Yeah. All right, so mana. When you step out, you notice that it's mail call. People are getting letters from family. They're getting bills from people from uh, places that they owe that they owe money to. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. look if I got a letter. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, this? Like, so uh, hang on. You're uh, uh you're Mr. Uh, Manigold Arkwright. No. Yeah. That's, yes. That that that's, that's me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Let me see here. Um. I know I have something for you in here somewhere. Um. It's in here. Where is it? 
Mm-hmm. And then this, this big macho looking fellow is going to step on this. He said, uh, by any chance, do you have anything for uh, me? For, uh, for, she says, yeah, for, uh, for, he says, yeah, uh, for Lauren, Lauren the Biter? Yes, I do have something for you. It's right here. Lauren. And the mailman just punches him in the face. <laughs> Lauren the Biter. Oh, <laughs> says, yeah, that's for my sister, you twit. <laughs> oh. And he says, yeah, I recognize the handwriting. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just it's just getting drama, <laughs> drama over at the mail center. Jesus, it's drama everywhere. Yeah, it's just, it's just right here. You go, man. I here's your letter from your family. Yeah, you're from uh, the Arkwright family. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're well, very welcome. Yeah, got some more letters to deliver. I, I, I look to the. I look like, uh, let's not fight, okay? And then that's when Monty just yeah. turns around and starts running. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he runs off. Run away! <laughs> no fighting. Okay. From afar. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna pop open your letter. Yep. All right, you're gonna pop open your letter, and you know that it's bad when you read the first words. Oh boy! Oh god! The first words are, "Ruin has come to our family." <gasps> ah no way! No. Now, no. let us uh, leave the B team off here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. I've been waiting Damn for it. this so long. Oh my god, I heard the. I heard mm-hmm. Ruin was like Darkest Dungeon again, not yes. like this. It's darkest Dungeon all over again. Yes. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Not my friend. Alright, so, um, we're going to go to the A team now. A team, okay. The A team. Back to people. Quite a t- yeah, and Meepo. Uh, let's just call it Sal and Friends. Yep. <laughs> and Friends. Over on the Sal and Friends show, um, yep. the party had an interesting time, you know, getting kidnapped by by a 3D. So the, many times. To, Kidnapping. So many times. Yeah. Just like... Going to the planet of fire, melting. Uh, Kelby going inside of an iron goal and melting a statue. Sweet. And the statue and then just dropping it on top of Sahara's uh, crushing her flat, rescuing yep. the slaves, Meepo meeting his long lost true love, Three Tooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was beautiful. That was a heck of a time. But it also ended with a couple of, uh, with uh, a bit of a revelation. Um, this Kelby, as when Aisha basically conferred on Kelby that he had mastered the power of air. Um, mm-hmm. And he swore that he'd use it to rescue Agnes, help rescue Agnes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jania, Jania Karad, your ally who helped you out, she heard you and said that what had happened was she had married Roland, Prince Roland mm-hmm. a month ago, which is very confusing and very horrifying for you, Kelby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 100%. But, oh, God. Yep. Yeah, but uh, the nights. Yeah. The night has passed. You've gotten your long rest. The A team is ready to go to the Shadowfell. You're going to return to Gloomrod and you're going to fix that city, rescue Agnes, or you and kill some mind flayers, or you're going to die trying. Wait, yep, I thought the, the deal was. You know, we talk during the morning and come up with a yeah. plan to help with Genius, you know, right Yeah, Genius wants to. Just- so that yeah, Jenny is going to take you to the shadow house so you don't have to travel everywhere. You can keep abreast of events there and alter your plans accordingly. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kelby's just like getting ready to go. Like that's all that really matters to him. Right. Yeah. As you're ready, as you're getting your stuff packed up in the hall, like you can imagine, like uh, what's an Sal has his stuff. He's all packed. He's standing there, arms folded, waiting to go. Kelby's in a bit of a panic trying to figure out what do I pack, what do I pack? Uh, just, just, okay, I got, okay, got ropes, uh, I've got my sandals. Oh, he's back and forth with wheels of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> just cheese. Get like, the cheese! Me... Okay, fine, just pass me, pass me it. Here, throw it, throw it. 
Yeah. Thank you. Nah, I Thank you. It. And I, I'll just, uh, I'll just put it in the bag. And uh, Kelby, Kelby's just kind of like he's definitely nervous about this information, but he's like, okay, but I know where Agnes is. I know where she is. I just have to find her, get to her, talk to her, and then I can. Then, then I can. Mm, Okay, let's go, Meepo. <laughs> yeah. That's go. the plan. Yeah, it's going to, the drone is also getting ready to go with you, and she just gives Kelby a slap on the back. Yeah. Just basically sending him face planting onto the ground. Like, oh, don't, worry, my little, don't worry, my blue friend. Soon you will meet your flame, the flaming love of your life. And then you will meet, and then that you will produce little steam babies, and all will be well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kel- Kel- Kelby's uh, just like uh, yeah. Team Gensai will be running around. It will be so much fun. It will be so much fun. I will be their godmother. I will take care of them and give them rides. Uh, I will yeah. give them the doors of, wa- of Barovian wine. Oh, the... Come on, hold still. Oh, for, for, for the... For, 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 for you yeah. know, it's weird. This green-skinned Gensai is turning red, red. and he is like... Red, uh, yeah. um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Red People end. want to take care of steam babies. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. You will have new friends your size in a few mu- within a matter of months once we get our hands on Agnes. Okay, okay. You know, you know, guys. Um, this, that, that. Mm, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> let's. Like, like, morning, Lord. I can marry hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. You, you know me. what? You know what? Let's talk about anything else. <laughs> Is steam babies? Of course. Like Tell us about multiple Agnes. babies. What does she look like? Yeah. Uh. Well, she she's got flaming hair. Um, when you say flaming hair, do you mean red hair or hair that is actually flame? Her hair is actually on fire. Wait, um, oh, that is, I, wait you mean she douses her hair on oil every day and sets it on fire? That sounds very. That does not sound like fun. But if she's virgin, said that I suppose it's okay. Well, it's, <laughs> I, I, it, it's funny. She kind of goes, "Okay, if I listen, <laughs> I have I have a picture. Well, I have a sketch of her in one of my journals I oh, drew a long, weird. long time ago. So I don't know if she still looks like this as the as the player goes to his folder yes. <laughs> to try and find the JPEG that I downloaded. Uh, yeah. Where where is the JPEG? <laughs> JPEG, come out, damn it! Mm. There she is. Uh, okay. Okay. Not come out wherever you are. There she is. She kind of looks like that. Flaming hair. Yep. A um, little That's... bit of like chitin elf armor kind of stuff. Pointy ears. Yeah, ears. Nice. Uh, very sassy, and that's the sketch that, like, I, I, I. Uh, All right. So yeah, she. So uh, the rune is gonna elbow you, and the ribs comes like, yeah, you got the good taste, and the, and the woman's here. They are how you say hot. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes. Yeah, see, Agnes made that joke a lot when I was around with her. I've heard it a lot. Yeah, yeah. One, 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 my, one might say that she's she's hot. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but kill, but kill me just kind of, Sounds lit. Have you ever cooked the motion of those on their fiery head? Um, well, you see, the problem is, is that we we did that once. I was, at, uh, but she kept burning them, and then she got mad. So then she just made the fire bigger, and then it almost burnt down the woods. So we had to, I, I had to go find a lake and control the water. It, it was, it was. After that, we just decided to, you know, we weren't we weren't gonna do marshmallows anymore because, you know, the less less forest fires, the better. <laughs> That is smart. That, move. that is a very smart move. Yeah, it it, it was, but I I really I really can't wait to see her. I really really can't. All right. So as you're getting ready, I was just going to say, all right, Kelby. Um, good luck with you. And remember, if you ever, if you you probably will encounter someone who could teach you the other elemental ways. Hmm. Now, knowing you, you seem to have a penchant for trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you do, if you do, what? Well, let them know that I'm still at the temple of the four ele- at the monastery here. The four elements. Except more monasteries opening up for business again. Yeah, and uh, just a, uh, you know, friendly advice. Sal just uh, raises his hand, just like awkwardly, and just says, yeah. "You might want to fortify your temple so people don't get, <laughs> you know." I know a few. 
yeah, I know, I'm going to find, I'm going to see if I can cut a deal with Tensor. Yeah. Um, so then to get some things. Whatever. Yeah, because this whoever is, you can we've, call. Had, we've had four kidnappings yeah, now? Yeah, not <laughs> the best. Yeah, that's... Uh, Defense. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's awkward, I know. I'll, I'm going to definitely see about that. Yeah, right, so. Cool. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Jenny is. Whenever you're ready, Jenny is ready to take you to just take you to the Shadowfell. Sweet, yeah. Kelby's ready to go. Yep, so ready. Alrighty, she is going to cast Plane Shift. Plane Shift. The, the air, air all around you suddenly turns to white and then fades to black, and then it doesn't fade out from black. It's just uh, not until. Uh, not until Jenny lights a torch. Mm-hmm. And then um, and the Dorogne is going to cast light, and you see that you're actually in the middle, standing on a large patch of ground in the middle of a swamp. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. It's, you, overhead, you can see like just the pure black sky of the Shadowfell. Um, and in the swamp, like, all the trees just look like they're hunched over, hooded people just watching you. Hmm. Yeah, they're leafless. They look like doesn't look like anything could grow. Anything's growing in the swamps. There's... But most tellingly, is on one horizon. Yeah. To the south is a massive brick wall, wall of black stone just rising up a good two, like good four hundred feet in the air. Ooh. It's big. Mm-hmm. That Jenny's gonna point to that and say. That's the wall. Of Gl- That's the wall of Gloomrod. <sighs> well, it looks like we're going to have to climb it somehow. No, we're going to go into the front gate. Wait, what? Oh. Is it safe yeah, wait, that mate, don't way? Worry. Of course it's safe. The Deathless Watch is way too corrupt to, even ca- to care about who goes through their gates. Uh-huh. Just got to give them your name. They will just write it down in a little ledger and they'll forget about it. If you don't give them their name, your name, they're not going to stop you, but they will make notes about what you look like, and they'll keep you okay. no end of trouble. Maybe, uh, do you think we should give us give them false names? You can give them false names if you like. Like I said, they're corrupt and very apathetic. They don't really care. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to try and give them a fake name. What do you think, Sal? Yeah, that would be... Right. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, D- Jania seems to know a lot about this place, so we should we should listen to any of advice. Of course, I know about this place. It's my home. Yeah. My family has lived here for well generations. You have to forgive him. Uh, we didn't really discuss the deal since we yeah, were I'm, in I'm, such I'm a sorry. Hurry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm still kind of like gathering all the information that Sal's been giving me. I yeah. apologize. That's so, fine. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh God. What's Meepo's false name gonna be? <laughs> Salvatore Starbucks. Ah, perfect. No, perfect. Meepo. Meepo with an I. Me- <laughs> Meepo. Ah, Meepo there we with go. an I. Meepo. 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 <laughs> No, like the double E, it'll be like M I P O. Meepo. Ah, <laughs> so, oh, I yeah. see. It's I see. Same. I see. No, just kidding. All right. All right. So we're at the gate. Hey, it's technically fake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. As uh, Jenny leads you through the swamps, um, the first thing you notice is. The, the path is very you get, is the path is although it's winding gets you closer to Gloomerot you get the feeling that she's been here before mm-hmm. and uh, when Dorovna brings it up she, sa- she says yes that so she's taking you to a barge something that will take you across the swamp safely oh. uh, to the gates of the city hmm. that's right Okay. That's cool. Because I, well, Kelby's just processing it because because he got teleported in last time, I believe. Yeah, he got teleported into the middle of the city itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We didn't. You're we didn't go the through the front, front gate. 
None okay, of us cool. did. Yeah, There's only one gate. There's only one gate into and out of the city. Yeah. Um, after like about five or ten minutes of walking through the swamps, almost falling in at one point, um, you arrive at this rickety wooden dock. It's made of rotting black wood that lo- doesn't look like it should be able to bear your weight, but Jania walks across it just fine, and Drovnia, who's larger and heavier than, than you, She's able to stand on it, and even though it creaks alarmingly, it doesn't give way. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up the, the swamps out of the mists, you first see like this little lan- like lantern, almost like a will of the wisp hanging in the air, and then you realize it's a lantern hanging on a hook. Uh, the barge itself is literally just a raft made of tree logs lashed together with a rope. It's being piloted by this hunched over warty old man who has toadstools growing out of his hunchback. Oh, Jesus. Literally, he's got no, the only thing he's wearing is a loincloth, and you can see the mushrooms and fungi growing out of him. Wait, what? (laughs) Okay. Yeah, he's just like, "Uh yeah. Kind of gross, but okay. Yeah, he pulls up to the as he pulls up to the dock, Jania shows him the badge of her house and then whispers something to him and points towards the city walls and he says, Of course. Everybody on board, please. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a fun ride. Disney cruise. Yay, yeah. Disney cruise. <laughs> I'm staring at a lot. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you got bu- everyone with a little reluctance. Some people are more reluctant than others to step onto this route, but you're able to get yourself and all of your belongings on. And then the punch over man just starts using his lawn pole to push you away from the docks and get you through the swamp. So as you go through, you notice that little uh, fires are starting to pop up in the swamp, little blue-white fires just like, boom, just appear on the swamps and they flicker there mm-hmm. until you pass... Uh, when you pass, like they continue to linger for a few more seconds, and then they go out. Uh, as you do, Jenny nudges you, and she says, "Don't stare at the fire." Oh, okay. You start no. to see things if you do. Yep. Kelby will tur- turn away. Gaze. Turn away. Yeah, virtue gaze. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> yeah, so when you focus your gaze on something other than the on something other than the fires, you notice that there's someone actually following you. I gingerly poke Jenny? No, like, okay, yeah, you poke Jenny, she does, hmm? Someone, is that normal? Someone is following us? This is, in swamps are home to a lot of different things, a lot of different creatures. Just uh, don't pay it any mind, this happens sometimes. Okay. So when you take a second look, you see the figure is actually a knight. Um, he's riding a, he and his war horse are clad in this corroded, pitted armor. Oh, God. Oh, fucking... He's got oh, rotting... Fuck. Rotting cloth. Uh, can oh, a guy just catch no, a break? Sur- Damn. No, <laughs> rotting surcoat. Uh, he's got, wearing a, he and his horse are wearing a rotted surcoat with skull it was skull heraldry on it still visible despite the rot and the mildew uh, he has a large sword on his side hanging on his side sword itself is not sheathed in any way so you can see that it's rusted and it's apparently has some kind of a slime on it you're not sure what you're not sure what the slime is so um All right. uh, but the weirdest part is he's not going to have a helmet he okay. instead just wears a funeral shroud over his face. Okay. So, uh... You have seen this night before, though. Yeah, I was hoping I... <laughs> oh, I was hoping I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, and you went so fine. Yeah. Was he who I think he is? He is, yes. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, I immediately alert the others this time. Right. Genia, like I'm, I'm making big moves, not not just gentle moves anymore. Yeah, yeah um, like, like guys, it's it's, yeah. it's it's the night. 
That is a look, sir. So? No, you don't understand. It's the night. There are it's, a lot of the nights. All right. It's. You're gonna have to be a little more specific. I really don't want to say the name, but fuck it. It's what night? It's Band Blade. That's. It's Band Blade. That's. It's it. Yeah. That's him. Kelby Meepo. You look out in the storms. You don't see anything. Oh, fuck. so we don't actually see this. Yeah, that's no. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Jenny is gonna say, Sal. Did you not listen to me when I said don't look into the fire? I didn't. He's right there. I don't see anything. It's just mist and trees. Then Yeah, what are you if, talking about? Wait, I, none I, of you are seeing this? I, like he's I just right there. He's not. There's nothing there, Sal. No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Can I make a wisdom save to... No, sorry. Inside check to check to see if they are... Yeah, inside check. Yeah, telling the truth. Okay, cool. So, they are telling the truth. They don't... Yeah, they don't see it. Yeah, we don't see it. All we right. do not see it. Can I make a wisdom save to determine that, you know... I, I don't know. Wh yeah. What are the... You are the DM. Uh, what kind of checks can I make to determine that whether or not I am been I've been you know hallucinating hallucinated seeing illusions make a medicine check you're gonna try to basically give your body a once over all right cool nine nine uh, you might be hallucinating I mean you've had a stressful past couple of days yeah you know what just to be Plus, safe you're going back to the place you have nightmares about yeah just to be safe I'm gonna try to use my divine sense. Hmm. Divine sense actually has this very short range, sixty feet. This guy is like a hundred feet away from you. Oh, okay. So yeah. So no, you four, can, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Jenny, just gonna say, look. This is a shadow fell, all right? Everybody's worst fears and nightmares are brought to life here. All right? It takes a special kind of person to survive it. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, Don't yeah. pay it too much mind. It's, it's a scary place. Like, just know that we're all here. We're all here and we're all together, okay? Yeah, and Dorovna is going to say, plus, if it gets too scary, there's always vine. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Not, probably not now, but maybe later. I'm mm -hmm. seeing things. We have cheese. Yeah, yeah we got cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, you can eat the cheese. That uh, actually, maybe later. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna have a piece right now. I'm actually really hungry, and I just okay. take a chunk of the wheel and Sweet. I just, just eat a little bit. <laughs> All right, it's about an hour's worth of sailing on this barge, during which Sal and Baneblade Knight is just keeps falling. You just keeping pace very steadily. Well, it just after a while, it just feels like I'm seeing Sal in Sal's mind. Yeah. He thinks he's seeing illusions, so he's getting yeah. you know actually bolder, like more relieved. He even yeah. has the time to you know take a closer look and just. Just like, huh, yes. that is a well-crafted illusion, indeed. Yeah, my mind is very vivid. Yeah. My imagination is very vivid. It's hey, just... can you see me? It's just like, I'm not going to yell. I'm yeah. just going to wave my hands like, hey. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to wave back. He's just going to keep looking. He's going to just keep looking. You keep urging his horse to follow you. But uh, eventually, he stop. All right, I'm going to make Ooh. a face. Like, yeah. just like, uh, yeah. Just, you know, just in the back, <laughs> just like, see if he respond to any of that weird actions. It's like, no, he doesn't respond. He just sits there just holding his horse, just, just, you know, just holding the reins, just watching as you sail away. Eventually, he fades into mist. Huh. Uh, then the mist in front of you parts, and you see a pitted, cobbled road winding through the swamps up to the wall, which is suddenly quite closer now. It was obscured by the fog for a bit. But now that you can see it again, it's massive. 
Ooh. It's bigger than anything you've ever seen before. Sweet. Holy moly. Yeah. And yeah. Is it, <laughs> you can see the front gate. It's carved to look like an enormous skull with jaw with its jaws agape. Hmm. It's very tacky. Not bad. Very tacky. Uh, there's also you don't see like the gates aren't shut. They, they're open. And you can see there's a small caravan of three, the three wagons entering the gates. Okay. Uh, the barge bumps onto the land. Jenny tips the bargeman like one coin, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you disembark. All right. I mean, unless you want to go back with the guy. Oh uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> no, no, we're, I'm good. I, like, Kelby's just, like, already grabbed, like, I just grabbed Meepo, <laughs> just like, a jump soccer ball, out of the ship. and just <laughs> jump off the barge. Yeah. <laughs> just like, <All> nope. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Jenna's just gonna back in, she's gonna say, alright, follow me. Remember, just give them your names, and they won't give you any trouble. Hmm. You got it. You got it. All right, so yeah, the wall, when you get closer to the wall, you realize that the wall is over 50 feet thick. Wow. It's a with big fucking wall. Yeah, with multiple gates set into it. Hmm, multiple gates. Um, okay. There's also a couple of, like, bored-looking guards over there. So you recognize that they're wearing the town guard uniform. Like, the uniform is that of a town guard or a watchman. Hmm. And they're just watching, just with complete indifference. Yeah. And, all right. I guess that's what they do in here. I don't just, know. Yeah. Well, they Roland boys are extremely indifferent, but don't let that fool you. They're very good when it comes to fighting. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> all right. So uh, what's so what's the play? <laughs> She says, watch, just follow my lead. Got it. I whisper. As, uh, I don't you, know why we're uh, whispering, approach, but I whisper. <laughs> <laughs> as you approach... As you approach the gates, well, two... As you approach the first gate, two women step out. Okay. Uh, both of them appear to be Shadarkai elves. Okay. Uh, one of them is hiding her face under a... Under a Thick leather mask. Like, and let me see if I can find it. Like that. Like, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, have you ever seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, I. Yeah, she's wearing I a leather face mask. So. Oh, she's wearing a leather face. Ooh, oh boy. Oh man. Yeah. Seriously? The second one, Come yeah, they're on, both women. Guys. The first one is wearing the leather face mask. The second one is just simply, she's just flaunting her icy beauty. Like she's made up far more than she should be. Why do you guys have to be so taint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Kelby Slate. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, say what you're going to say. Yeah, she comes up with, uh, she comes up, she has a large. A uh, large book in her hand. She has a feather, a crow feather pen. She says, "All right, what's your names?" Uh, I'm following Jania's lead. I thought she's gonna, you know. Yeah, Jania is going to just say, she's gonna say, she's gonna show her badge, the, the badge of her house. She's gonna say, Jania Karad. Like, All right. Jenny, you're back. I guess you left. I don't care. Okay, who's next? Uh, me? Go ahead. What's your um, name? My name is, uh, Bolin. Bolin, all right. Yeah, sign. <laughs> yeah, here, sign. Bolin. Yeah, what's Bolin? Okay, and you? Albert. Just Albert. Albert. And you? And Sorosia. Meepo. Uh, Meepo. <laughs> Meepo with two eyes or? Two eyes. Two eyes. <laughs> two eyes. Of 
people make that mistake a lot. Kelby's like, why? Why? Foolproof plan. Foolproof. I should have told him that if he named himself One Tooth, he will have a bigger chance with Three Tooth, so that he would name himself One Tooth. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he would have fought for that. I would have forgot about it. Damn it. Alright. Damn it. I would have definitely fallen for that. I was like, yeah, definitely, let's go. <laughs> okay, so, and then finally, the Dorovnia gives her name as Alana. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, so the elf woman just writes down, she's just like, okay. Alright, uh, if you'll take the pen and sign next to your names, please. Mm -hmm. sure. I can use it. I look at you. How do you use a pen? Like, oh my gosh, yeah, Jania is just going to put her flourishing signature next to her name. Alright, cool. Let's just do it. Alright, uh, I do mine. Bolin. Bolin. Got it. Uh, and so, then down Albert. Yeah. And then Meepo. Yeah. Nice. I feel like it's not actually a signature, it's just like a scribble. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he probably, like yeah, he probably uh, put his hand mark next to it. You know, just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just raises her eyebrow, which is like, I don't know, really. That's not something you see every day. All right. <laughs> All right. Go on. In you go. And she just closes the book and goes back again, just looking completely bored. <laughs> okay. We made it. Pa we we masters of deception. We've made it into the city. <laughs> oh God. Mm. All right. Da, 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 da. So hang on, I need to double check our map to see exactly where you end up. I thought we entered. The area. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're entering the main gate. Okay. I'm just like I said, I'm just double checking. Yeah, because we have a we have a map of the city now. It's mm -hmm. on Discord. Sweet. So yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I'm you're curious where we're gonna end up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll be entering into the fettered ward. The fettered ward. Yeah, and you realize, well, the first thing about you know is about it is the fact that it's the first thing is it's basically the red light district of Gloomrot. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> the second thing is the reason it's called the Fettered Ward is because there are chains everywhere. Oh, like, okay. Dangling People from buildings across fetishes. the ceiling, across between buildings. Like, they use chains instead of clotheslines, for example. Yeah. Like I said, oh, okay. people and their fetishes come <laughs> yeah. just dangling that out in the streets. <sighs> Kelby's just like, just looking at the ground. Nothing to see here. <laughs> look at this cobblestone. Yeah, stuff. and he yeah, probably yeah, yeah, bumped into, you know, and you know, a robe. And then it turns <laughs> out not just a robe, it's wow. a, you know, fawn or something. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Jania is going to look at Sal, and she's going to say... I don't judge prisoners for having shackles on their wrists. I don't judge those who shackle themselves for some kick. And I will not judge you for shackling your mind shut. I judge. For a man. <laughs> and yeah, she says, I'm th simple-minded. Least... That's all. Yeah, yeah she's going to say, if you're going to judge, at least judge that. And then she points to the inner top, top of the inside of the wall. All right, cool. And I will see, judge the hell out of that. Uh, you no, know, whatever. When you look in there, you see that there are spikes lining the top of the wall, and in certain, and on some of the spikes, in various stages of decay, are bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, already yeah, making just, someone yeah. want to go home. Sweet. The hanging. She says the hanging wall is actually a spectacle. Criminals who are going to be executed are brought here and they're impaled on the on the spikes. Sometimes they're hung. Like I you said, make money, you act. already you know, making someone on who's homeless wants to go home. How uh, wonderful. 
Yeah, no, what's worse is that people actually bet on it. Kelby's like, oh, this place is just the greatest. Yes, I know. Uh, so where she's are we going, both, Jania? She's going to her to, place. Her house, yeah, we're right? We're going to my place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she says, well, first, you're not coming into my house. My father would kill you all. You are not... You are not nearly as dis- nearly disciplined enough for him. Okay, so where are we staying? I will put you up in a very nice hotel, free of charge. Hmm. Uh, is this hotel in the Fetid Ward? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now you are going. You are not going to the Fetid Ward. You are going to the Dust Quarter. Okay. The center of the city. It sounds even worse. Then, <laughs> it's just dusty. Don't worry. No, I mean the okay, center can, of the I city. Can... Isn't that the place where Roland stays? No, just asking. Yep. The heart of his that powers is... and the Deathless Palace. And as she points to the inside of the city, you can see looming above the city is a massive, massive castle-like structure that reminds you of a gargoyle just crouching over the city. Sweet. This is the time I said, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he lives. <sighs> Very that's, that's, this, that's a big place. This is Oof. the moment I said fuck. That's all I'm saying. Although although Kelby is just looking up there and just thinking about uh, Agnes. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, pal. Uh, yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jenny, okay. I actually just to just, just, just basically just stop on a street corner and just wait. Oh. And then a moment, a few minutes later, a massive coach, like a massive carriage made of iron comes trotting up, being pulled by a team of four black horses. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the, so... Yeah, the carriage itself is, mm-hmm. made, like I said, it's made of iron. It's got, it has the Karat symbol on it, on the door, and it says there's no flourish, like whatsoever. It's very plain and utilitarian. I just look at her and I say, so we'll just go, we're supposed to get in, I guess? She says, yeah. Yep. Oh, it's mine. Okay. She oh, you the own the hotel. Just, nice. Just, no, I, yeah, my family owns quite a bit. We're nobles here. Yeah. That's Makes sense. Good, good to be rich, I guess. Don't know what else to yeah. say. Kelby just sits in the, he's already sat down. Just yeah, the like... seats are not comfortable. They're actually just straight back. Like very geometrical seats made of metal. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Okay, just yeah, mm. this, you know. I prefer this standing. This is fine. <laughs> this is I fine. Good standing. choice. All right, you get in, you get all your stuff set up, and the door shuts, and then she knocks on the door on the front wall, and you hear the driver just give a flick of the whip, and the horses go on their way. Okay. Cool. Yeah, she's going to as you go as the horses wind their way through the fettered ward. Johnny is going to say, "All right, here's something you should know. The city is existed a lot longer than Prince Roland, than my family, than your family, and it will continue to exist long after we've all turned to dust. Mm-hmm. The reason the city has lasted this long is because it actually creates its own. I don't know. I guess caretakers, you could call them." Wait, what? They created their call own them this is, I don't know. No one knows. So maybe Prince Roland. Is this some sort of magic? I assume so. But they're called keepers. You'll notice them every so often as we pass. As we drive through the city, as, as you wander the city, you'll notice them too. They... She says, they look like that. And she points out the window. And you see this like tall thing, like Standing head and shoulders, standing head and shoulders above a tall man. Uh, he's dressed in a long black trench coat, wearing goggles. Uh, the face is the only visible head and face are the only visible parts of it. It look, has no ears. It looks like someone took a skull and then stretched a layer of skin or plastic over it, mm-hmm. like even over the mouth. Uh, is this the, is this uh, Mr. X? <laughs> no. no, it's not, Mr. X. This one's actually standing on its feet. You can see that it's actually looking at it. It's squinting at the corner 
of, of what looks like an apartment building, and it's writing something in a little notebook. Okay. okay. So yeah. it seems like these guys are like the de facto like police, essentially. Yep. Is he city. paying any they're attention not, to they're us? They're more like the janitors. No, they're more like uh, the janitors and caretakers. Janitor uh, city, they, gotcha. They make sure that everything works according to whatever yeah. their mysterious ones is. They don't try to hide what they write in their notebooks, but the people who've taken a look at it say that there's just nothing but scribbles, just random scribbles and dots. Okay. It probably makes like sense no to discern, them. No, but, no yeah. discernible. Well, it's probably a hidden language, essentially, or uh, yeah, coded. It is, it is probably a hidden language because they do make clicks and noises when they do speak. Mm -hmm. They don't, like, speak any language. They just make clicks. They understand what you say, but their language can't be translated, even by the aid of comprehend languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay. Cool. Writing that down. Speak a different language. Yeah, Kelby's just kind of looking at that. He's taking note. He's still kind of like, you know, um, nervous about this place because yeah. obviously last time we came here it was not a pleasant experience. But he's trying to. He ever, ever since he got kidnapped, he's trying to be more confident. Um, so he's just yeah. trying to focus on that. Um, yeah, Johnny is also going to say that the city itself rebuilds itself every so often. Like, one day you might walk down a street, and then the next day you might find that that street has been blocked off by a wall that just randomly appears. And it just randomly appeared one day. Like, people have been known to go to sleep in their houses one day and then wake up to find that their house has moved to, like, two miles down the road. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kelby's just taking it in, listening intently. Yeah. So, between the keepers and the shifting city, you need to be very careful. I mean, the keepers won't bother you if you don't like pick a fight with them. But so they, but you should. They they're gonna. They have no concept of privacy. They can open any lock in Gloomrod. They will just walk in and just start randomly looking under your bed for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, uh, just okay. one question. So. Ah uh, uh, yeah. Does yeah. Roland have any? Sway over this guy. Can he control the them? Keepers. Oh. The keepers. No, the keeper. Genesis. No, the keepers are independent as far as we know. They don't really care. They just fine. They're happy to let the nobles do what the nobles do. Okay, so so that's good. That's good news. Like if we yeah. ever wanted, you know, do what we, don't we agree we don't upon. We don't, we don't have necessarily to worry need about to worry the, about the yeah. uh, the keepers. You know, Engagement. necessarily yes. Yes. Involved engaging or with whatever. us. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. No, but uh, some of his minions might. Some of his minions. Well, so there have been rumors. I'm not going to say anything that I don't know for sure. Um, maybe you should. I would like to hear the rumor because with our track record, most rumors tend to come true. <laughs> <laughs> Janet is going to not say, well, there are rumors that some nobles try to get control of the city, both in terms of political power and in terms of controlling the way the city shifts. Some of them have tried to kidnap keepers. I don't imagine that mm. goes, that went so well, but, you know. It might. I mean, if you're quick enough and you're able to keep your head, visit metaphorically and very literally, they can grow sharp claws to cut your head off. Oh, well, hmm. well, I mean, it, it's just a thought, but if we do notice, um, um, if we do notice a noble house trying to kidnap a keeper, that might give us some useful information. Maybe. It's uh, called blackmail, Kelby. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that might be something we can do, or something Sal can do, because I'm not really comfortable with blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> just hand it off to the paladin. Yeah. I'm sure he'll do the dirty deed. <laughs> yeah, saying as if paladins are the ones doing dirty deeds. That's yep, yep, rich. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> to, to be fair, Alexander did some shit. <laughs> Which is not the way he's deviated from <laughs> yeah. his way. But no, just kidding. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just joshing. That's true. All right, as uh. 
as the carriage travels on, the chains actually become less and less frequent, and everything just starts to seem a little more dusty. Even the inside of the carriage starts to get dusty. Hmm. Try not to breathe in. No, you can breathe it in. It's not. You can breathe. It's not like the dust is flying everywhere. It's just like a layer of dust everywhere. Just a layer. Okay. Okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, yeah, and we notice that when Dorona comments on it, Jenny, it just says that means it's a sign they're moving into the dust corner. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, eventually, it's, there's no more changes. Just dust everywhere. The building starts turn from the squat from the cramped up cramped squashed together pleasure houses into like tall mansions of various architectural styles. Hmm. Well, Kelby's happy to be out of the red light district, that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Um, yeah. Eventually, uh, there are some, there are some like, yeah, there are some hotels here, but they're like, they're very fine quality. Um, the one that it stops at, the, the one that uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak tonight. That's all right. The one that the carriage <laughs> stops in front of is just a massive, plain, unadorned-looking building. Hmm. It's just, it's simply called it's simply called Warriors Rest. That's all it's called. Okay. Ooh. It's, Good name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Janice says, "All right, here we go." Okay. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Um, are we gonna meet with you tomorrow or something like that, or like? Uh... Gonna, Jenny's gonna say no. You're going to get. You're gonna get. Uh, you're gonna get some rest. You're gonna get your rooms. Uh huh. Everything's already been arranged. Okay. Okay. When and I guess do, we'll... I will send okay. my son to Wait. help you out. Wow. Oh, your son. Um, what what's his name? What does he look like? Seth. So we know he's your son. If not someone else uh, in disguise. His name is Nathaniel Karad. Wait, what? Sorry. Come. His name is Nathaniel. He'll come. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Nathaniel. Oh. Got it. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. And uh, I guess we'll go. We'll go get some. Get the rooms. And... Yeah. Yeah. Go get your rooms. Put your stuff in there. And when you get a chance. She points to a street corner. She says, "When you get a chance, go around that corner. It, you won't regret the sight." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ominous as that's fuck. That's so rich. Yep. And then she gets back into her carriage and goes off. Um. So when you go into the warrior's rest, it's empty. It's dusty in there. Seems everywhere else. It's also completely empty except for one guy who appears to be passed out in a bowl of soup. Sweet. Already loving the place. Yeah, it's well, empty. at least it's uh, at least it's private. You know, and quiet. I, you know, I actually quite like quiet. You know, yeah. it's a nice change it's, of pace. It's very <laughs> ominously quiet. It's like okay, the, the ominous. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Only yeah it's just, oh yeah. So it's like <laughs> Kelby's like a couple seconds go by and go. Okay, so may maybe quiet isn't all that great. <laughs> you think? But, um... So, what do is we do soup, now? Is soup, <laughs> is soup Boy, like, uh, are we able to figure out that Soup Boy is probably the guy who owns or slash works here? No, the guy who owns it is a poorly fellow who comes down and comes and says, You must be, you must be the Iron Lady's guests. Yes. Yeah, follow me, please. Your deposit has already been paid. Okay. Oh, okay. And, uh, cool. I'll, uh... Okay. Follow Here, him. follow me. Up here, you get the big room. The big room with all the beds. Mm -hmm. uh, Not the key. bed. <laughs> then he pulls the key... <laughs> gets the key out, he unlocks it. And then... So how many minutes does it take for him to find the actual key? Yeah, this is a proper old man. Ten. 
10. There we go. He just That's stands it. there yeah. watching him work. It's like, okay. Yeah, he tries cool. the same keys. He, he tries each key like five times each. <laughs> Knew it. Yeah. yeah. And then he That's takes great. the key off and he gives it to you and says, It's your room key. All right, if you. If you need food, just go down and hit the bell, and you'll have fun. And I'll see if I can get you something to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Kelby's already like trying to get in because he wants she he wants to rest or like kind of like take a breather. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. The right. room, like, it's dusty, but it's actually very well made. It's very okay. well made up. There's not like any kind of decorations. Basically, like being inside of a prison cell, except without <laughs> barred windows. Huh. So Kelby's like, oh, wow, that really sucks for Kelby. And it's like, hmm. Even you know, the room Kel Kelby, like Kelby actually says this. It's like, you know, when all this is done, we need to actually stay at, like, a nice tavern. Like, you know. No, with, like, you know what? We nice need beds. we need a vacation. We that's, need a vacation. Yeah. That's the word I vacation. heard people do we when they get rich. <laughs> I never enjoy yeah. what a vacation is, but I heard it's awesome. So we just find because a place. Because right now, I've I've gone from giant beds with that you know are next to chasms, a literal prison cell, and now this place. Now I'm not one to complain, but I'm just saying come? that the next the next place we go to. Let's let's try. Let's at least attempt to find you know some mattresses, maybe a foot like a feather no, there pillow. Are mattresses. Like I said, the... <coughs> there's just no decoration. Ah, okay. <coughs> like like some some you know like some hotels have like pictures. Some of them might have flowers or something like that. Yeah. There's just nothing. Just very utilitarian. Yeah. Very yeah, Spartan. Yeah. Still. This just looks like a shit hole. It's just, it's just funny because Kelby's just thinking like, man, like you would you think back at Ashton, like yeah. those rooms were fucking VIP yeah. in comparison to what he's been what he's yeah. been experiencing for the last couple like uh, months, weeks, <laughs> weeks, yeah. yeah. All right, tell me about so. it. <laughs> Yeah, so Drogon is actually going to sit down on the bench. She's, kind of, she's just going to lay down on the bench. She's just like, oh, what do you know? The dust actually makes it softer. Really? <laughs> I yeah, hop on the really. bed. Just, yeah, and yeah, it actually sounds so it sad. I don't know what, how to respond to that. All right. Comment. All right. I, oh my God. All right. Kelby's going to try and cheer himself up. He's going to do a backflip and land on the mattress. And the all the dirt just puffs up. I guess. Yeah, he does it. He lands on the mattress and it goes. Seriously. Goes and it just Kevin. quietly just oh. settles back down onto him. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Seriously, man. Nice. <laughs> Meepo is okay. enjoying this so badly. Okay. And I just kind of try and dust myself off, and then I'm like, okay, well, um. I know J Jania said that there was something cool around the corner, but I have a sneak suspicion that it's really creepy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and meditate, and keep an eye Smart. on the room. Then you hear, <laughs> you, then you hear somebody knocking on your door. Oh, oh. Uh, who is it? It's Nathaniel Karad. Well, that was really quick. Wait, what? <laughs> Come in. I thought we have it. Yes. All right, fine. Come in. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the door opens up, and it's actually a surprisingly young man. Like, doesn't look any older than 16. That was fast. So, this, the thing is just, yeah, we are a very big believer. The family's a very big believer in efficiency. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, what going now? by my so going by my mom's descriptions, Kelby, Sal, Meepo, and Dorovnia. Uh-huh. And he actually gets your name right. Nice. Awesome. For a change. Uh <laughs> Kelby's like, oh well we do have code names, just so you know. Um we came here. The Deathless Watch really does not care. Okay, well <laughs> <laughs> I I thought it's... it would help. <laughs> it, it'll help, but they might help later, but not right now. Okay. So, Just, okay. what exactly are you going to be? What exactly are you in 
Gloomrot for? Well, we made a deal with your mom, and uh, if we help her, she can, you know, help us in return. The, the the details you can ask your mom about, but that's all. Uh, that's the. Basic I'm here, experience. like Kelby stands up and says, "I'm here because there's somebody that I care about. Her name is Agnes, and it sounds like she got married." To Prince Roland, yes, I was there. Very tacky wedding. You did not want to be there. Oh, well, um, you know, kind of like grits his teeth a bit because he's just thinking about the whole how Agnes would have hated that uh, for multiple reasons um, mm. I'm trying to get her out of there I'm trying to save her that's what you I've been doing you want to break into the Deathless Palace and yes. spirit your friend out under yes. the nose of the Deathless Watch and whatever magical protection Roland has set on that place yes Anything guts, someone kid. would do for love. You have guts, I Kelby. I like that. I really like that. You have guts. But you need to have brains with those guts. Otherwise, your guts are going to be hanging from the hanging wall. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But that's that's why that's why we've come to you. Because like I, I I'm not I'm not like a, a master thief or like a you know somebody who can break into places. Like it's not my it's not my specialty. So that's why we came to you. Okay. We need your help. So, so, well, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need help. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, my mother would certainly be willing to help you. I don't think my aunts or uncles or grandfather or cousins would be willing to help either. Yeah, I think she said that that was a problem. Yeah. Like... Grandpa, maybe, because he has, he has these mood swings. He's always veering between, oh, we need to kill Prince Roland and take the seat in the city, or and, oh, we need to drag him off of his throne so someone proper can rule the city. And by proper, he means himself, of course. Right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, since you just got here, how about I show you the sights? Uh, sure. Just try if we can steer away from the creepy places. Like I, I would shadow. rather. It's I. Uh, I Kelby's like I know we're in the Shadowfell, and she, she tries to calm herself down. <laughs> I know All we're. Right. I know we're in the Shadowfell, but let's. You know. You know. Let's. Let's say like you know. There's places that are rated R, and then there's places that are like maybe R minus. <laughs> Let's right. let's go to like PG thirteen. Um, like let's go right, with well, that. Says, okay. Uh, how about how about we go down? He looks at uh, he looks at Sam says, "Yeah, you look like you could use a new set of armor. How about we go down to the market? Yeah, the family cool. family that deals in weapons. I can probably get you a discount. Sweet. Ooh, that'd be this awesome. Armor. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Uh, you can just take a nice long walk. Just you know, take the sights in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to lead you out, and he's going to go around the corner to the yeah. thing that the she thing. told yeah. that Jenny had told you. And when you round the corner, it's actually not that bad. The street, as it's just the street in various places, the cobblestones are replaced with giant glowing red rubies. Really, really like the, and they're. The whole place is bathed in an eerie red light. Not like the red light, saucy red light district, but just like a mm -hmm. more of an ominous red light. Just for the whole street. Mm. And, uh, uh, Kel Kelby actually will actually take out a sketchbook and draw it out of yeah. curiosity. He does find yeah, that actually thing. interesting. Yeah, and the thing also says, yep, the Avenue of Gleaming Gems, it's called. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's actually I mean it's it's ominous, sure, but there is there's a beauty to it. I can kinda of see it. In a darker tone. True. Just sketch, yeah. sketch, sketch. Okay, well uh, lead the way. So I'll just look around. 
yeah, he lives your life. Just, yeah, mom says, oh, it's just this place is proof that not even Prince Roland's mother influence can suppress what Gumra once was. Alright, uh, once, was. <laughs> hey, Kelby's, Kelby's Actually, just, Kelby's just, sweet. Yeah, like, uh, well, sorry, I, that's why I'm being quiet, is because, like, there's a lot of, like, really cool lore that Falcon's giving yeah. us, of, like, trying to write it down so that I, because I'll, I'll forget it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, no, Kelby is just, you know, he, he's doing his sketches, he's walking, following Nathan, yeah, um, he points to yeah, Nathan's gonna then point to another massive four tower for lack of a better word, it's an iron fortress. Ooh. Mm -hmm. With four towers he's gonna say, That's where that's that's our home. Okay. Oh, good to know. That looks magnificent. Says it's not. Sorry, I don't know how to choose a word. Yeah. It's it's more impregnable is the word you're looking for. Okay. It's been attacked hundreds of times throughout our history. Every time we've broken the attackers. Mm -hmm. No one has made it past the outer layer our outer layer of defense. That's a iron I guess. Fortress. Yeah, it's pretty much a hundred it's over a hundred feet in height. The H tower stretches up about 100 feet tight. It's huge. It takes up a whole city block. Did uh, did we ever see like uh, Johnny a sigil like sigil? Like yeah, I did. Like... I said it was a. It's basically hazard stripes with the gray skull superimposed on it. Ooh. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gray skull. Double sweet. Yeah. Ah. Uh, huh. so, so he's going to lead you down. Oh no, does Nathan lost? He has got to pull no, out his app. Lost. He's I'm lost, lost in his just... own city that has been I'm there for a own... thousand times. I... Yeah, no, he's going to lead you to the market. Sweet. To an enormous, to the plaza district, this enormous like, open area. Uh, first thing you notice that the entire plaza on every rooftop are gargoyles. Wow. Yeah, just are they just holding. standing there, moving, or just sort of like... A couple of them you see are mo actually moving from rooftop to rooftop, just keeping an eye on everything. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But most of them... Most of them are just sitting there watching. Um, inside of this huge plaza is... Like, does it are just tents, stands, stalls of all different, not all different shops. They're all peddlers hawking their wares. But the thing is, it's not as loud as you'd expect it to be. It's like, there's a very, it's very hushed. Like, sounds just die only a foot or two from their source. And people who go around there are doing that with their heads down and their eyes lowered. Mm hmm. Huh. Okay. Like just it's just the kind of it's it's. Do we feel like sound is almost like like disappearing in certain areas, or is it more like everything's just quieter in general? Everything's muted for some reason. It's probably just huh. an effect of the city, an ambient effect of the city. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, but we when we talk to each other, we can still hear each other. Yeah, just, easily. Okay. Got it. It's just this yeah, place. Yeah, it is just, a place. It's it's, it's, like, it's, quite, it's yeah. not it's not like downtown New York. Mm -hmm. It feels weird. Yeah. 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 It feels like countryside. It looks like <laughs> it looks like downtown New York, but it's not. Yeah. Right. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. All right. So we walk. This, I guess. Yeah. As you go, and he says, as he leaves you, and he says, "Keep your hands in your pockets." There's cut. There's cut purses everywhere. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, okay. okay. If I the moment that I hear that, 
Kelby has his hand firmly grasped on his father's compass. Right, like, yeah. as in his pockets, as hard as it can be. They could steal anything else, but that compass does not oh, get right. stolen again. I lost everything, <laughs> so I don't have anything valuable on me is except right. magical items but they are way too big to be you know stolen so it's fine yeah <laughs> i never thought so i would say fine. this but the bonus of getting you know yeah robbed yeah, sure by magic you know deck of many things has has its perk yeah, <laughs> just it this once <laughs> Just this once. Just once. Well, okay, so someone does try to cut your pocket style, and they realize your pocket is completely empty. There's no pocket. That's the thing. It's a, I lost all know. my, you know, mortal belongings, valuable mm -hmm. stuff, so. Well, you're still wearing yeah. pants. He, no, he's yeah. more like, like, trying to, I would imagine he's more like trying to, you know, pat me down on the back yeah. without me knowing, but then he realized there's nothing there. <laughs> It was like yeah. I look at him with pity, with pity in my eyes, and just says, "Yeah, I know the feeling." <laughs> I, I'm broke too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> then, the fuck is Kelby the only one with any material wealth? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, man, my yeah. armor's made out of junk. What do you want? Yeah, yeah that's, true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. As you follow the thing, you notice that uh, several of the buildings are actually just like slouching precariously over the streets, like they're monsters trying to gobble up shoppers. And when you ask him about it, he says that those are shops that have fallen on hard times. <laughs> like every time that happens, like the city mimics it, like it turns from standing up robustly into like hunched over, starving looking buildings. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's super cool. Then he leads you to the biggest tent in the entire in the entire uh, market. It's there. It's the Karad Pavilion. You can see that arranged around it are tables that have different sorts of metal implements, from ranging from utensils to simple weapons. Some of them even actually sell iron ingots. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Probably more noticeable is the fact that every table has at least ten knight, ten Karad knights guarding it. Wow. Holy shit! Yeah, is that a little? <laughs> I I just I just asked Nathan. It's like, yeah. is that normal? Oh yeah, that's totally normal. I mean, hell, I've seen it go up as high as twenty on some days. But why? I mean, there's there's just well, there's no better way to deter the theft than a good show of force. But they can true. still steal from prevention. you. I mean, all right, yeah, maybe. I found the fact that the guards will actually take the hands of any thief they catch. Ah, yeah, that explains. All it takes so. is all it ah. takes is one person getting caught and punished to kind of make everybody go. Eh, mm. Let's go somewhere. Yeah, else. that's not a good idea anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he's going to lead you up to there and just like. All right. He's going to show his. He's going to show the badge of his house, and then the guards will literally just step aside. Come on, come on, come in. I'll take you inside the tents. Mm -hmm. It's where we keep the good shit. And when he leads you inside, when he said good shit, it, he meant good shit. Like this, like the stuff outside is simple, functional. The stuff inside here is obviously magical. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has more expensive non-magical items like suits of plate armor. Ooh, awesome. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> I can't. <Yeah>. I can't. <laughs> I'm just window shopping at this point. It's like, oh, this is so good. Wow, look at this. I can't get it, yeah. though. Yeah, he says you can't get it. He's going to say, yeah, that thing's going to look at you. Sal's so going to say, I'll tell you what, Sal. What if we, you know, made a little deal? Mm. You, you get a shiny new suit of armor. And in return, you do, let's call it a favor for the family. Hmm? Yo, another debt! Let's get oh, in! No, <laughs> oh, yeah! This worked out so well the first time! Yeah, well, it's, it's just, he hears you say, oh, get another debt. He says, well, you can work this one off immediately. You know um, what? That's fair. You know what? Out of all of the debts we could possibly be stuck with, <laughs> this seems like a decent one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Can, can we elaborate on the debt first? You know? 
Like, just yeah, it's a, like I said, it's a favor. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just tell me the details. I'll do it. You just say. Well, there's a three-story emporium. There's a three-story building near the on the other side of the market. It's owned by one of my family's rivals. It's owned by House Harskill. Okay. They supposedly keep a ledger of the customers, what the customers buy, who the customer was, how much they paid for the item, and so on. Okay. A lot of information. So what I what we would like is you know, someone to acquire the ledger, the ledger, or at least a copy of it. Hmm. But I'm not rogue. How do I? I don't know. Just we don't care how you get it. If you storm the place and recover the ledger by force, that's fine too. As long as as long as my family gets the ledger. Okay, I'm on your family's boat, so I guess. Yeah, sure. Why uh, yeah, no, trust me. If you do that, though, and my father finds out that you dared to nut the hard skills in their own store, he will be happy to say the least. Well,、mm. that's a plus, right?、Uh, helping. Oh yeah, absolutely. Negotiate. My dad is. Yeah. My my grandfather is very difficult to impress. Cool. And、All、if、right. you're willing to nut them in their own house, then he will be very impressed. Sure.、Why、Or、not? at least he'll be. Less unimpressed than he was before. I mean, Kelby has mixed feelings about this mission, but he's not gonna say anything. So I'll just nod、he's, immediately. Sure, why not? Does、oh, it sound fair? Yeah. By the way, you don't actually have to steal it. If you can get a copy that we can certify is similar to the real one,、mm -hmm. then that's fine too. Like you don't have to steal it. I look at right, Kelby immediately.、Want. Like, All we want is the information inside of it. Yeah.、Uh, all right. Well, let me let me think about it. I guess I'm not a big fan of stealing it, but I'm more of a fan of copying it because that's not stealing, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, of course not. It's not stealing. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'd be more than willing to outfit you something. Yeah. Uh, I just like I agreed to the deal, so. Okay. All right. All right. He's going to call the, for lack of a better word, a tailor over, and、uh, the tailor is a short little old mustachioed man. He's going to say, "All right, the mister, could you please、uh, remove your armor so I could get your measurements, please?" Yep, I do that. All right. He's quickly going to measure your arms, your legs, your waist, your chest, and he's going to write it down on a notebook. He's going to say, "Hey, give me the, give me a helmet then." Give me a size forty helmet. Give me a size seventy armor. Give me a size. <laughs> then it rattles off,、mm -hmm. and then, like seconds later, his helpers scurry back carrying the little bits of the armor that he attaches onto you. They just puts onto you. Says yes, yes. This looks good. Yes, very good, <laughs> very good. You look good. Wonderful, beautiful. I、uh, just then, let him do his thing.、Yeah. He's the pro, so. <laughs> Yep, and then he shows you as a full-length mirror brought in. He shows you that the full armor that you're wearing. Okay, cool. Yep, you got now. You have a suit of full plate armor. Sweet. So Sweet. even if the deal with the family with the Karads falls through, you have a useful memento of your time with them. All right, just a normal a... full plate armor, right? Uh, adamantine armor, yes. Ooh, sweet. It、that's、turns、uh, all crits into crits. Wow!、Crits. Nice. Yeah, that's a fucking good plate armor to get. Nice. Anybody else? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't really get. The thing about me is that I'm a monk, right? So I have unarmored movement. Unless he could give me a better staff. <laughs> metal staff. Holy shit! A metal staff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I could go. I could work with that. Is it is it a plus one staff or is it just a staff?、Uh, let me check. Play nice with me. Will Meepo、um, get like not junk armor? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. That's true. Oh fucking Meepo's gonna get pimped out. 
Yeah. Pimp your meepo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Pimp my meepo. Um, let me see. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, it's uh, magic, but mm. not a plus one. Okay. A you normal know, if, magic. You can attune to it. Um, staff. It's actually a flaming staff. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. When you speak the command word for the staff, the entire staff will erupt in flames. The flames will not harm the wielder. They'll shed bright light out for 40 feet radius and then dim light for an additional 40 feet. While it's in blaze, it will also deal an extra 2d6 fire damage to any target that it hits. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the fire that will last until you use a bonus action to speak the command word again or until you drop the staff. So this is this is an iron this is an iron staff flame tongue. That's awesome. <laughs> flame tongue staff, yes. Nice. Yeah, I will take that. I will take that. Absolutely. All right. Staff. All right. Yeah, now Kelby's on board on with this mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna like have them uh, do one thing though. Uh, I want I want to sell my chainmail, but I want them to remove the symbol that I have on you know the old ones and place them you know onto the new ones. You know. What what symbol? Uh, uh, just symbol just a, it's not nothing special. Just the symbol like you know the the makings and all the you know markers that looks like from you know my hometown. It, it's nothing. It's just a normal ordinary you know markings. <laughs> And symbol. So yeah, I, I just want All them right. to look like it's still you know it's a momentum, so, something. All right, yeah, the they past. will. Yeah, yeah, they'll cut that off and give it to you. All right, cool. And they will also give you. Actually, how much does chainmail cost? Because they're going to give you one tenth of that value. All right, cool. Uh, hey, I can get them. I can get that number for you. Give us All that. right. Uh, chainmail, chainmail, chainmail. Chainmail. Uh, chain meal is uh, f uh, 75 gold pieces. All right, cool. All right, so now you have some material possessions, Sal. For the first time. Hey, uh, there you go. You're no longer yeah. broke. So I have yeah, eight gold pieces or seven gold pieces? 75. Yeah, so. Oh, I thought you said a tenth of the worth. A tenth of the seventy-five gold pieces. So seven point five. Hang on, let me, I thought it was like seven hundred and fifty. Hang on, let me double check. No, it's a, it's no, a, a ch chain mail is 75. like seventy-five. It's the sales it? price. It's really cheap. Plate armor is the one that's expensive. Yeah. As fuck. Yeah. No. No. But. Yeah. So yeah, sure. Chain, yeah, chainmail is seventy-five. Okay, I thought it was more than that, but okay. So that was about ten. Yeah, you have seven gold and five silver. Sweet. Sweet. Seven gold and. Plus, like I said, you have plate. Yeah. Yeah, and I finally got a cool staff. I've been looking for a cool staff for yeah. so long. All right. Now let me see. What are we gonna pimp Meepo out with? All right. What? What? Uh, what? What are we gonna do, guys? I actually don't know. Uh, what do you want? What do you want the most? You want your weapons more powerful? You want your armors more sweet? You want a boot? Uh, you, what do you want? I want her. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I know you were going to say that. Just kidding. Um, I don't know. I mean, like. You can't buy love. <laughs> I think just better armor. No, would... Oh, wait, wait. Wait, actually, the scrap armor's breastplate. Hold on. What? Yeah, That's you sick. have a crap made out of breastplate armor. Yeah, we're armor. going to give you. Yeah, they're going to take your scrap armor crap. They're going to give you. Let me see. What's, the, what's a good armor to give you? They don't have anything in your size, unfortunately. Like, they don't have plate in your size. They do have breastplates in your size, though, for their halfling customers. So they're going to get... But he already uh, wears a breastplate. 
but it's gonna Gosh. be a it's gonna be something that he can impress the ladies with. Like that's yeah. real. That's yeah, exactly. Real. Yeah, you, 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 you uh, exactly. There you go. Exactly. There we go. So, and yeah, maybe, sorry, maybe no. you could, maybe you could get like a cool helmet that's got flames painted on it. You know, Hot no, Wheels style. I'm gonna, him, <laughs> I'm gonna give him scale mail. Sweet. Ooh, or rather, mithril scale mail. Even more sweet. So Those it can were... be worn under normal clothes. And he doesn't have any dis disadvantage on dexterity checks. I mean, oh, sex, stealth checks. I stealth, mean, stealth checks. Stealth checks. Nice. Yeah. He doesn't have disadvantage on stealth checks. My bad. So, yeah, not a little helmet. He's gonna have to keep the frying pan helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Can he get it chromed? Uh, that's <laughs> fine. Get it chromed. Yeah. Get it chromed. Yeah. Make it match. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's part right. of the look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so when you're decked out, you're ready to go. Yeah. And uh, Nathaniel's going to say, all right, well, I got to hear your plan. I want to hear your plan for this. How are you going to get your hands on that ledger? Hmm. I and look at Kelby. Can, yeah, it's like... We're more than willing to hire them for you. We have plenty for you to hire. Yeah. I look at uh, Kelby... And then I was like, hmm, I think I would like my friend to, you know, sneak in first. I would love to storm it, but, you know, uh, we are I foreigners mean, I'm, here I'm, the first I'm, day. So. I'm kind of, I'm, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I would rather sneak in and do this, Yeah. you know, and hopefully we don't have to fight. Well, why not both? There's also, well, well, why not both? I well, can... I need I know, so I can give you. I can turn you and probably your little meeping friend over there invisible. Hmm. And then Ooh, you two true. can stick in while Sal and I attack the front. That sounds. Yeah, you like could make a, a distraction. If you're, to, if you're willing to pitch in with some gold, uh, you can hire some mercenaries from us. Uh, I think I think we could we could just do it on our own. I and, and he looks at the twenty gold pieces in his pocket <laughs> and goes, "I don't think I've got a you know reasonable um, rates, uh, reasonable rates. One gold, one gold piece a day for one of our for one silver a day for one of our enforcers, or one gold a day for one of our knights. Very reasonable rates." Hmm. Well, what what do you think, guys? I mean, I I think we could probably do it without having to spend any money, but I I don't know. I we don't can know do, what, what we're, nah, we're up again. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to scout first, we can be the distraction. You know, on the outside. Okay. So you well, won't I, face. I, I like yeah, I. You won't I like face I like enemies. this plan. So yeah. here's what I'm thinking. I, I scout out the place first. Mm -hmm. I come back with the information, and then we do what what oh, uh, Nathan says. And uh, yeah, there's one more thing I can do. I uh, bring out the brazier of command fire elementals. I can set a fire. You know, I I haven't used this, so I can maybe set the fire to the shop. It's quite it's it's quite a distraction. Yeah. Although we don't want to burn the leather, the ledger, because if you light the no, shop no, no, on fire, like, the not not the shop itself. We set some stuff on the fire on the outside, so people you know. Start, oh, okay, yeah. Start a fire yeah, outside the shop. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and they yeah. see the fire elementals. They'll be like, "Oh shit, we need to fight this creature," and then you know you can you know sneak in easy. Here. Okay, yeah, that could work. That could work. Yeah. Okay, so that's our plan. <laughs> our full plan. It's not gonna go wrong, I promise. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this is what I love about the A team. Their it sounds plans great. are executed flawlessly. <laughs> oh, <Flawless. laughs> oh All right. god. And that's where we're gonna stop for the night. Sweet. Hey. Oh, oh man. man, that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Holy shit! I thought God. the battle with Father Lucius would be, you know, even more difficult because, given that in the past he used power word kill, just yeah, annihilate well, his enemies. Well, if he used power word kill, if you think about it, if he used power word kill to wipe you out. It's oh the monster just pretending to be him just killed our would be saviors. Let's get him, girls. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. He's not. He decided that it'd be better to just cut his losses right then and there and run. Yeah, no, I don't blame him for plane shifting out because that was basically like, well, this cult's a, this is a wash. Mm -hmm. yeah, why, why, why even bother wasting spell slots? Let's just get the hell out. Yeah. Yeah. God, I was afraid I'm, I'm that so, they are I'm so I, interested. Yeah. Sorry, what are you gonna say? No, no, no. Just I'm just saying that I was afraid, a little bit afraid that he was gonna snap. You know, for his plans being foiled and, you know, his truth being revealed. Uh, so I, I, I thought he's gonna, you know, wipe us out. <laughs> yeah. For real. <laughs> well, I'm also, like, I'm super curious about, like, with the B team. Because, like, like one, I'm super curious about what's going on with Mana's family. Because that was a hell of a cliffhanger with yep. that. And ruin has come to our family. Oh my god! <laughs> and then I'm also like, wow, I actually learned something about mana that I think is actually super important. <laughs> this is super important in the future. Uh -huh. Well, no, I just I feel like I feel like Roberta learned something about mana that oh, she probably never. Roberta knows. is actually Highwayman. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what. Who's Renault? Oh my God! Yeah. Who's oh. this? Who's Renault? Who am I? Hmm, I I wonder. <laughs> who is Cadence? Hmm. What's Mana it's gonna mystery. be? It's like uh, Mana's not night. Uh, the Bard. Uh, what 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 was the Bard's name? But, Jester. Yeah, Jester. <laughs> there's no Jester. There's no Jester name. Like, yeah. cause the. Oh man! We'll have to figure it out. Yeah. We'll have to figure this out. I but wonder really where station. this is. Wait, Mana. Th sorry, what? Justin. Uh, was it? Yeah. Was it so something in your backstory? You know, the oh, the location of your place. Crossed. Yeah, it's just crossed. Crossed. If I will. Yeah. Look, it should be on the map on the world map. Oh. That's, you can see the world map on roll twenty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. At the very top is his home. Long Ridge uh, on Firestorm Peak. Right. That's where he lived. That's where he lived. That's where he grew up. You will learn more about that next time. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First, you guys have ice to plan. Yep, yep. We got that. We got I that just feel first. so lucky that my Caden's home is just so so far away. It's like yes. <laughs> yeah, all the way over here. Yeah. Uh. Huh. Yeah. I you can go there, there you're going to find everybody wearing white robes and bronze masks. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Come on. Here, try some cowards, and all your problems will be solved. <laughs> yeah. Please don't sound With like that Crypt voice. Key. That voice. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> all right, well, that was a really, really good session, so uh, I got to go Crypt and pass out. from the but, Big uh, Bang thing. Yeah. Like the I'm guy just go. have the most awesome voice. Right. But anyway, yeah. Alright, well, cheers. Awesome. Yeah. Good game. Good, Good night. night.